Hello and welcome. Carrie here from Healing Humanity, the power of a proper human diet with my very good friend, JT, Poco Moonshine family. How's it going, buddy? It's going great. How you doing, bud? You're knocking on any strangers' doors lately without me? It's an addiction now. I've been trying to hold off, but I, <laughs> I've been getting all sorts of urges. I was just, you know, my, my plow guy, my neighbor is also my plow guy. He came through yesterday and he almost drove by me and slammed on the brakes. He's like, dude, I thought it was some random guy in your yard. He's like, you're looking like a new person. You're looking incredible. And I was talking about the carnivore diet with him and his wife out in the cold for like, man, at least 30 minutes. And I think I might have a new um, couple of uh, c converts there. Nice. That's awesome. Hey, I said the same thing when I got out of the car. I was like, you are looking good. It was noticeable. Uh, speaking of people looking good, our friend Bill Knott, man, that guy's looking great too. He just put out a video today. If, uh, if you guys missed that, go check it out. Uh, really good news. Huge shout out to Todd Bachness from The Carnivore Cure. Todd is just great. Uh, despite all of this, I always said Todd was great, uh, but he's he helped Bill out a lot. Uh, with some very specific particular things you guys got to watch the video to see uh, but bill put a video out earlier with some good news in it uh, so huge thanks to todd on that one so uh jt the thought of this live stream uh lots of people jumping on too speaking of good people I'm, see I'm seeing a lot of let's go yeah lots of let's goes we got limit limitless lindy the legendary limitless lindy hey lindy hope you're doing well Thanks, uh, Jen. I appreciate you. Sandra. Because of Jen. Jen made the shirt JT's wearing. Uh, we got Christy here. She said she just watched Bill's video. That was great. Todd Let's to the go, rescue. Let's go, Christy. Bill, I'm not going to say anymore. I want to get. I'm going to give away Bill's whole his whole video. But it was awesome. It was some good news, and he's got some exciting updates. So, uh, and then uh, JT, shout out JT. Adam might jump on a little bit later too. Uh, I have a link to JT's channel below. You guys got to go check out what he's been doing. Let's go. The, the, the man behind the idea, like credit were due, knocking on strangers' doors. Like I, there hasn't been a more well-received video. I, I've never had more comments. We want more of that, you guys. Go knock on more doors. That was JT's whole idea, uh, inspiration and everything. So, And he's the one that <laughs> – you screwed up, though. You, the first door we knocked on, he got a yes. We were supposed to get some rejections. It would have made the video more exciting. So. I'm sure someone's bound to turn me down. It's it's happened with women in the past. It, it, you, you know, <laughs> you, you win some, you lose some. You just got to keep going, you know? Right. Next time, I'm doing the first knock, and I got a lot of pressure. I got to get the first one. Shout out to our friend, Mike. How's it going, Mike? Hey, family. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, all right. So... The purpose of this video is to have a lot of fun, as JT and I like to do. Uh, JT and I have some plans too for doing more videos. We got to—I'm itching to do another one. That was—if it ain't big, man, we we just we don't want nothing to do with it lately. 2024 is going to be a big year. For that was the—I think that was the first video I posted in 2024. Of the year, yeah. yeah. And the other reason I'm saying go check out JT's channel. He's got some other clips and videos related to that that you didn't see in the first one. Uh, I thought was one of the best parts interviewing uh, Chris and Tanya and asking them how they met. And it was just a real, those, those people are, they're the coolest. They're the absolutely so nosy care. Carrie, when I see couples, I'm like, how did you guys meet? Like, what's the story? I got to right? know. Yeah. So JT has a little interview that wasn't in the video on my channel. So definitely go check that one out. He's got some shorts. He's got all sorts of good stuff over there chatting with carnivores. Um, so we're going to have some fun. I wanted to talk about, this thing we talk about carnivore all the time now if you guys have questions of course post them in the side qqq uh for jt or myself but if you have comments and you can share with the group let's try to do that too because i think that will be a lot of fun i wanted to talk about the top unexpected benefits of carnivore diet of the proper human diet uh there's been so many for me. Like I went into this for certain very important reasons. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, I never, I didn't sign up for this, but this is incredible. So I wanted to talk about some of those things. And I wanted to hear from you guys uh, in the audience. I want to hear from JT and Adam and see what were some unexpected uh, carnivore things that happened for you. Uh, benefits or maybe things that went bad, but it doesn't seem like people had a lot of things that went bad in carnivores. So yeah, I gotta uh, say, you know, although I, I went into this with the goal of healing my body. I was, I'm, I think there's other people who can relate, man. I was just straight up skeptical. I was like, there's just no way I can eat all this bacon and stuff and heal my body. So when my IBS healed and my sleep apnea, 
although that's what I wanted, to me it was very unexpected because you just you're you're getting used to this the idea of this diet, and you're like, wow, wow, this this diet actually really does heal. So I mean, the weight loss is cool and all that, but like when I actually healed my sleep apnea and my IBS, and I didn't constantly feel like nauseous or like I needed to use the bathroom. I'm telling you, man, that was unexpected to me because it just, you hear, you hear all these testimonials, you know, from person to person, I fixed this, I fixed that. But until you get your own results and, and get something that happens, even if you kind of expect it and want it, it's still just so unexpected and, and just a blessing. Hopefully that makes sense. I just, I, I wanted it. And then when it happened, I'm like, wow, this is, this, this diet really is the real deal. Like, thank God I found this. Right. It was kind of hard for you to believe. And then you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> this is happening and it's happening so quickly. Uh, Trust, but verified. You know, my coach said to, to listen to him until I found out that he what he says doesn't work or that he's a liar. And the diet, I was like, you know, I'm going to do this diet until I figure out this thing doesn't work. Right. Or, you know, or it's all bull crap. But then when you do it, it's like, wow, well, like, you know, I got all the healing, get rid of the, the snoring. Uh, my favorite though, unexpected benefit was just the fact that I didn't need to smoke cannabis anymore. Carrie, that yeah. was just completely left field. You Carrie did a short that said, I'm um, getting high off ribeyes or something like that. And I was like, this dude's hilarious, but he's right though. You, you're, you're, you get so euphoric and energized off a of ribeye. It's, it's unbelievable. Honestly. JT, we are sitting here right now doing a live stream because I am currently high on a ribeye I had about an hour Let's ago. Go. <laughs> I'm dead serious too. I made one a little bit later in the day today. <laughs> and I just I'm s i am I got so much energy. I did a video with Professor Seafried and Jeff uh, on cancer yesterday. We just posted that this morning. You guys got to go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And there's another version that Jeff is doing on his channel. Um, but uh for me, one of the biggest unexpected benefits, kind of similar to JT, I don't want to steal your answer, but it was, it was like, I can't believe all these things that are happening. This is the fact that so many happen. Um, but the biggest thing for me was the brain fog. Uh, I'm not saying that's the best either. The best thing was getting rid of the depression. Losing the weight was great, but that's uh, the depression and anxiety was by far the best. The sleep improving was probably the second best, but the most unexpected was getting rid of the brain fog because I knew I had brain fog before. But I didn't know how deep it was. And then it, there's, it's something so deeper than that. Uh, I was so blessed to interview um, Dr. Georgia Ede the other day. And I asked her, I was like, what is like the mechanism behind this brain fog? And she gave me a really good answer. Uh, I probably will massacre it if I try to repeat it. But part of it was, you know, we're eating inflammatory foods. So we have inflammation throughout our body, including our brain. There's also certain foods that people are consuming. JT, I went down this rabbit hole on this glyphosate. Uh, glyphosate am i saying that right the roundup stuff um, oh yeah oh my goodness i Man, went down I've a seen big commercial rabbit. after commercial they're like if you've gotten sick from roundup i'm like there's nothing good about the roundup for the animals the people the environment nothing about it's good for well what i've learned recently is um that's actually like an antibiotic it's hey, everywhere we got Bill up in here didn't mean to cut you off hey got, bill be, everybody's got be like bill man we need to make <laughs> those t-shirts be like bill right but the 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 Roundup stuff is everywhere. It's in the Mississippi River. It's evaporating into the air. They're saying if you're, you're very likely if you go outside and take a deep breath, you'll probably get some of it. It's an antibiotic. It causes leaky gut and it breaks the blood brain barrier. It causes issues in the brain. Mm. Uh, they think it's a, a big reason for a lot of recent outbreaks in the last like 20 years or so that that's been popularized. Wow. Um, anyways, I'm going down a rabbit hole. The brain. Adam fog. too. Adam. Hey, there he is. Hey, Adam. How's hey, it going? Buddy. Hey, Good, guys. How are you? Good. good, good, good. Carnivore today. Shout out. I have a link in the description below for Adam's channel, too. Uh, got that in there in the nick of time. How's it going, Adam? Fantastic. What is your... Uh, I'm, I was kind of rambling, so let's switch gears for a second. What was sure. your one of your unexpected benefits of carnivore? The most uh, stark and drastic unexpected benefit would have been plantar fasciitis. That pain was so incredible and lasted with for two years and i didn't even start carnivore for that and within five days it was 100 percent completely gone and it has not come back in almost a year let's go nice <laughs> that is incredibly painful too yep that's awesome yeah so um Wow, we're getting a lot of comments here. So yeah, post yours in the sidebar what your unexpected benefit was, but I'll shorten mine up. Mine was the brain fog being gone. Um, 
it's not just the it's not just the brain fog being gone. There's perf- uh, Dr. Ede was telling me the brain requires so much energy to function. The body does too, but the brain requires so much energy to function. So it really made me think more that part of the reason I had brain fog before was because I was probably eating inflammatory foods that were causing it, but also the toll it takes on your body when you're eating the sad standard American diet and you're putting all this junk into your body, Doritos and Mountain Dew and ice cream, and it's just nonstop. Your body has to process all of that. It requires a ton of energy. So of course you're going to be fatigued. Your body's like, what is this ingredient? Is this, uh, do I have to have an allergic reaction to this, an immune reaction to this? It takes an incredible amount of energy. So you're tired for that reason too. Yeah, your body's like playing security and it's got to handle one person, one rowdy food after another and it's like man what a day you know right. what a day and one of the things i realized that when the brain fog went to i started getting this motivation like i don't know when when i decided but let's do this healing humanity let's let's just do a documentary now <laughs> uh, i've never done one of those before i'm running a movie theater and doing a million other things but uh, long story short i think this happens for a lot of people when that brain fog goes away, that brain fog is also making you just want to be lazy. It was making me want to, it's making me take the path of least resistance. If someone said, you want to go do a documentary? No, I want to go sit on the couch. It's like, (laughs) and every decision you become kind of a, you, you conform to whatever everyone else is doing. And when you're just conforming and you're just going along, you're not really living. You're just kind of getting by and you're doing the bare minimum. I did that for years and years and years. And I feel like, much of the sad public standard American diet public out there that's eating, they're kind of doing that and they, they might not even realize it. So that's why I always say anyone watching this is thinking about doing carnivore. You got to try it at least one time, the proper human diet, because you deserve to feel like I feel and Adam feels and JT feels no brain fog, no inflammation, just like a proper human with energy. It's incredible. Absolutely. It's liberating. That right, 100%. Adam? What's that JT? I said it's liberating, right, Adam? Oh, for sure. Amen, brother. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, Cyber Goose, uh, DKK $50. Thank you so much. Let's, Let's rock. go. I know I, I always say this, but every penny from that goes to healing humanity, power of a proper human diet. And we've made some incredible progress. Uh, Adam and I are setting up a meeting with our editor friend, John. And man, I've, I've been going through the footage. I know I've been saying this for a while now, but we, we have a lot of footage. We have enough footage now that we could do three separate docs on the three people we filmed already, but plus a uh, bonus disc. Yeah. So we're getting, <laughs> we're getting much closer uh, on that, but uh, we really appreciate the donation. We wouldn't have been able to do anything that we've done already without the donations from people, uh, including just going out and filming Jeff and, and Dr. Hampton as well. Shout out Donald J. Farmer, $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much. And then we got Carnivore Backwoods, member for three months. John, what's awesome. up, dude? What's up, John? Welcome. What's Thank you. Going, dude? Awesome. Wow, there's a lot of comments coming through here. All right. I got to try to catch up on these comments. So you guys have any other uh, unexpected benefits from Carnivore? Yeah, <laughs> just just becoming a healthier uh, family. Like my my family has just changed from this diet. My wife's on it. My son's on it. I'm on it. It's like a whole family paradigm shift. And you know, like you, I just said I was gonna do it for thirty days, and it's uh, it's literally changed the entire family. It's changed our, you know, for the better. For the better, we're 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 feeling better. I feel like my son's in um a better mind state to learn. I th- feel like he's picking up things a lot easier on the carnivore diet than if he would have all this inflammatory food. So mm-hmm. to me, that's just the change, the family paradigm for the better, man. We just kind of, you just want to try the diet and then you just don't realize how much it's going to change your life for the better. So to me, like it just the whole lifestyle changes was unexpected, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. One, one of the things that was healed for me was a, traumatic brain injury that I had for six years that I had complications with Mm -hmm. balance issues and motor tics and among other things. And uh, I went to therapy for two years for that physical therapy and speech therapy, other types of therapies to try to fix that issue. Uh, I was on medication for that as well. And uh, eventually got to a point where I just said, I'm not going to take the medication anymore and accept the fact that it's really not going to get any better than what it was. And literally five months into eating a carnivore diet, all of those issues completely gone. hundred percent. Wow. What a blessing. Absolutely. Yeah. I I mean, 
when you start for a skin condition, an autoimmune condition, and then plantar fasciitis is 100% healed, and then the brain injury that's been with you for six years is healed, it's like, yeah, I have to shout this from the rooftops. This is that's unexpected. You want it unexpected? Incredible. That is <laughs> amazing, right? Awesome. Hey, one, what, what a guy, John Carnivore Backwoods, gifted five Poco Moonshine family membership. Awesome, John, you're the man, dude. <laughs> Shout out. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. You guys, John's a great guy. Check out his channel, Carnivore Backwoods. Man, he does the Carnivore Roundtable practically every Sunday. It's if you're if you're missing out on those roundtables, you're you're missing out on some good carnivore content. I got I got to just show it real quick here. And he's another homesteader too, so. There we go. Carnivore Backwoods. Everyone go subscribe, give him some love. Got a great channel over there. And not only subscribe, but click the videos and watch uh so, watch at least a couple of his videos cuz he's trying to get his watch time hours up. So, let's go. Yeah, he's got some great videos. We got Robin on here. Hey, there's my wife there there, uh, with Dr. Lisa Wiedemann. Awesome. Yeah, look at that. He's yep. a really good, really good guy. Shout out Carnivore Backwoods. Thank you for doing that. Really appreciate it. John, thank you. You're the man, dude. Appreciate it. We're going to have to check back there in a little while and see if everyone, we got. We'll have to go cook steaks at his homestead soon. <laughs> yeah. Where, where's John located? Uh, I, In the backwoods somewhere. Tennessee, right? <laughs> Tennessee. Okay, cool. I think it is. Yeah. Ooh, near Dr. Barry. To, we'll have to make some arrangements there um awesome so uh one other unexpected benefit and i don't want to sound too crazy here or go over the top but this is the truth my senses seem a little heightened on carnivore i and i i was talking to dr eat about that and she said yeah that makes sense because you don't have the brain fog anymore your brain's able to work better so it's just like uh when i'm listening to music for example it just feels better i feel like i'm hearing the guitar and i'm feeling the drums and I, I, it's like i'm <laughs> listening to a band man <laughs> it's like i'm looking through a different lens or just here it's nothing drastic it's not like some superpower but it seems like my uh, senses are heightened and i mentioned this a long time ago but um after covid i had uh lost my sense of smell and i think it was like day 40 on carnivore it came back i don't know if that was carnivore if it was just timing but it's back so we'll we'll leave it at that but that was definitely unexpected uh for sure we gotta start an unexpected carnivore band the rock and ribeyes <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know i will say another unexpected one for me is honestly tapping into this community and getting to meet all sorts of carnivores and become friends with you guys honestly that was like you know i, th I knew i was gonna start the diet and, and and um try to live a little healthier but i really didn't expect to to get involved with the community and to meet as many of you guys and become as make as many new friends as I have. Honestly, that has been totally unexpected. Absolutely. For sure. I agree with that. Yeah. Same. I had no friends before this. <laughs> I really, really I didn't. And it was kind of to my point earlier, I don't know if it's blaming it on the brain fog or whatever, but it just didn't have the motivation or attention or energy for it. I almost wonder, I always speculate. Well, you couldn't like, take care of yourself. I'm not getting on you, but like, you know, when you're, when we have our own personal problems and we feel like we're falling apart, you don't really have a lot of time and energy to focus on a friend when you're feel like everything's the wheels are falling off, you know, for sure. Yeah, I always speculate why, like every carnivore I meet, I'm like, this guy's just awesome. This girl's just awesome. This person's just awesome. I love this person. I think it's for that reason. They don't have that brain fog. They have that energy and they, they, they you make more connections that way. So it's that vibration, it's, it's crystal clear. Donald J. Farmer Jr., $10. Thank you so much. Question, alcohol is bad for your liver. I like to drink. Uh -oh. I started carnivore a month ago. Is it possible that alcohol is a lot less bad for you on carnivore without the extra sugars and carbohydrates it's still going to beat up your your liver regardless no matter what diet you're i'm sure it, you being on the carnivore diet might help you like counteract some of it but i mean it's still it's still a, a poison to the body regardless so um, just try your best you know i ain't getting on you like i got i i hit rock bottom before i finally gave up the booze i was drinking 17 beers a day and you just realize you're just a, a fat, sloppy mess. Not you, me personally. I realized I was a fat, sloppy mess. And I was like, man, I just, I'm sick of living like this. And that was my motivation to say, man, I'm I'm done with this stuff. Same with the smoking. It's do what's best for you. But I don't think the carnivore diet's going to make doing drugs and certain things make us like 
uh, impenetrable to, uh, to to damage. It's in my my opinion, though. Yep, I agree with JT. Yeah, that it's alcohol is essentially a poison, and it's also the waste product of yeast. So if you think about it like that, that you're eating pee and poop from yeast, <laughs> maybe it'll make it a little, a little less appealing. <laughs> right. I have interviewed Most Misty on my channel that right. she uh, effectively cured her alcoholism with uh, eating a carnivore diet. So there's hope that you may not even have those cravings anymore once you get farther into it. Absolutely. I was going to say similar. Uh, I've heard that from several people, and that was a follow-up question I have when we talked to uh, Dr. Eid again. By the way, when I talked to Dr. Eid, I said, I don't want to put you on the spot, but so she is going to be a part of the documentary because a huge part of the documentary is depression and anxiety. But that was a follow-up question I have for her is around addiction. Because I have heard several people, uh, our good friend Todd Bachness, the carnivore cure, we were talking about him earlier. He's gotten over some addiction like chewing tobacco. Um, I had a horrible addiction to uh, diet soda for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. uh, our friend I'm Dave still Mack. Still nice, man, unfortunately. Yeah. Our, <laughs> our, our buddy Dave Mack, he quit alcohol and went on carnivore at the same time. So uh, I've heard a lot of people yep. say that and speculation, like does something in the brain change when that brain fog goes away that affects addiction? Because I feel like right now I don't have any addictions whatsoever. Um, so I don't know, maybe there's something to it, but I agree with Adam, Donald, maybe if you give it a little more time, there's something to be said too, for being in total control and not, um, like not having coffee or not, ha I gotta have this. I gotta have this. I don't have to have anything. I have to have water or I'm going to die, but I don't have anything controlling me. And to be in total control, there's something really liberating about that. That uh, is another unexpected benefit of carnivore I never really would have thought about. So thank you so much for that super chat and wish you the best, uh, Donald. Appreciate it. Kerry, your closest addiction these days is uh, is ribeye. Right? Yeah, I know. I say that. Someone called me out of that. They're like, you're kind of addicted to ribeye. I am, <laughs> but it, it's a little different. Like before I was addicted to candy, I would just eat it until I was just like sick to my stomach. Now I eat a ribeye and I absolutely love it, which is true, but it's more of an appreciation. Like, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit different, I think. That's how I justify it anyways. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh, you should see the ribeyes I made today, man. Those were a thing of beauty. Nice. I got to go get some more from the butcher shop. Cut them up. Yeah. I did some of that uh, priming a little bit that Todd and them was talking about and over at the Steak and Butter Gang. And uh, it's actually, I'm seeing some positive results from it, actually. But I, I am eating a lot more than what I normally would. So I've probably had f four pounds of beef today <laughs> so far and uh, eight eggs. So killing I'm ramping it, it up. Yeah, you're killing it. Speaking of awesome people, our good buddy, Jeff DeProsperous. Go check out his channel, Blessings Jeff, that's on My awesome. Journey. My three favorite carnivore friends. I just had a long day, 36 round today, plus hypothermia, hyperthermia at Dr. Reed's. Seeing you guys just cheered me up. I was not feeling the best. Thank you guys. Love you all. Ah, awesome. Love you, Jeff. Love you, Jeff. You got this, dude, man. You're an inspiration to me, Carrie, and, and, and a bunch of people, man. So just keep doing you, buddy. Jeff is uh, changing so many lives. Got to give credit where due. I never would have done these cancer videos. We did one with Professor Seafried. And Jeff's story was in there. It's reached almost 400,000 people. And we're, we're like talking like we need to start a nonprofit or something just to field all of the questions and comments we're getting from people. Uh, shout out. Jeff's, Jeff's been having like personal phone calls and emails consulting with people that have questions about his regimen um, or metabolic therapy. And Ronnie Campbell as well. She's amazing. I'm doing a video with her on Saturday. Uh, but it's changing so many lives out there the number of comments i'm getting that are just so thankful that jeff shared his story that ronnie shared their story it's amazing jeff and i did a video yesterday a, a second one with professor seafried they went live on my channel today and it's going to be going live on jeff's channel soon so everyone go subscribe blessings on my journey jeff to prosperous let's Absolutely. go it's the ripple effect you know you share your story and it affects one person and they can affect somebody and next thing you know we're all doing better it's beautiful absolutely sure. crazy canadian carnivore 10 days in no gas no anxiety good job let's go awesome. 10 days is pretty awesome too because you're probably past some of the hard parts you know at first making the decision is the hardest part and then getting through the sugar addiction that first week or 10 days can be really hard for people so good mm -hmm. job 
Sandra said, I've been trying to tell Bill he was barking up the wrong tree. I'm a multi-spinal fusion recipient. It wasn't adding up. Thumbs up. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Sandra's talking about, Bill did an update video today. It's awesome. Everyone should go check it out. It's got some good news on there. Uh, Bill not. Go check him out. Be like Bill. James Unexpected Carnivore Benefit. Six different medications for my asthma. All gone. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, how, how you know, like, that's sitting in the back of your head, like, any minute you could have, like, an asthma attack, you know, like, that's, it's got to be liberating to, to, to be off of that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. But, hey, you can't afford carnivore, right? Right. He's, he now has six medications he doesn't have to buy. That's awesome. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's Bring on huge, the ribeyes. Let's go. <laughs> that's a huge expense people don't think about, too. I think about all the money I spent on medication, doctor bills, deductibles, trips to the hospital. I'm going to do a video. I got it. It's going to take me a year to get all of my medical records. I just want to get them all and be like, this is so people are always like, you're so fired up about carnivore. I'm like, if you would have seen before, I was so messed up before. Yeah, we need to see that video. And, th you know, I'm I'm making fun of this now because I know you're you're OK with it. But thank you to Emma for the scooter carry video. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a scooter carry ornament for the tree. Nice. <laughs> and one, yeah. and one of these. <laughs> Emma, Emma is creeping me out with the amount of footage. She has like footage from years ago. She's like she just pull it up like, oh, remember this? I'm like, No, I'm like, give me that. That was. Yeah, I had a scooter that and that scooter video was interesting because it was time stamped. And that was literally, I think, like two weeks before I started Carnivore. Um, I was in a mobility scooter. I think we were at Ikea and I was like, there's no way I can walk this because I had the inflammation and gout in my foot so bad. Um, no more mobility scooters. That's a unexpected benefit, too. Yeah, that, that's awesome. That's amazing. Crazy Canadian Carnivore said, thanks for subscribing to the channel. I promise I won't let you down. Keeping me accountable 10 days in. Awesome. Go check out Crazy Canadian Carnivore. Crazy Canadians. Love them. Here we got a question from Freedom for Alberta. Do you make gravy with the drippings when having roast? I've never. Maybe they have. Uh, in my old days, I would have. Yeah, I, I haven't uh, in particular, but, well, for example, today I smoked up some ribeyes, and then I seared them on a cast iron skillet in Wagyu beef tallow. Those drippings, I consider that gravy. I consider that my carnivore crack sauce is actually what I call it. Uh, <laughs> I pour that over the steak, kind of like a gravy, uh, and it's very, very good. Fills you up. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, kind of carnivore first, gravy. I don't, I you know, recipe. I I don't know of one, but yeah, I'm definitely not putting flour in anything that I eat. Right. Chris was uh, putting all the drippings on his ribeye when we hung out with him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we had that in the video. We're like, this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, Chris no, he did. Him. He had it in there. Nice. He's a pro, man. I'm getting some flack from Discuss Addiction. Change your channel name. You do nothing that has to do with homesteading. Complete BS. <laughs> yeah, I got oh, nothing to do with homesteading. Have to eat a carnivore diet, too. I have thought about changing my name. Something I'm considering, but... Man, homestead, uh, how? That's who you are. That's how you started, man. Well, like that. And I, ha I have like 700 homesteading videos on the channel still, too. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. And about 700,000 internet links out there that would all get broke if you changed it it's it's <laughs> exactly. branding recognition though they recognize you with that name whether you do you know and Pope, people, i don't talk i don't i don't actually make moonshine but that's the name of my channel and that's <laughs> it's an I'm idea being, though so. jt it's an idea I, run with it hey yeah. yeah you know maybe if i did like um not actual moonshine but like just like a a family like um water drink with uh, electrolytes in it you know Carn carnivore moonshine just yeah water. yep <laughs> just water with electrolytes you don't just call it right. a moonshine the thing with the homesteading too is um i still do homesteading videos from time to time not as much as before but i don't have people that even when i do a homesteading video i get like no comments about homesteading so I don't care. <laughs> hey, I, but we will like, never change for the haters, man. Let, right. let a hater change, but we will never, ever change for a hater. If you enjoy my homesteading videos, then leave a gosh darn comment, comment on one of the homesteading videos, and then maybe I'll do more <laughs> or do something with it. But I don't get any comments on it, so I just don't care. I do a carnivore video. I get like a thousand really encouraging comments. Uh, it's going to keep doing that. But Absolutely. I would too. Susie said, how is everyone doing? I am doing wonderful. Fantastic. We're killing it on carnivore. 
Thankful, grateful, blessed. Look hey. at Adam. <laughs> Give me oh, one of those, Adam. Happy I'm New like Year. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jesse Arndt tried carnivore in October, lost 28 pounds, almost instantly stopped snoring. Happens to nice. a lot of people. Weirdest things was gum stopped bleeding. That was an unexpected benefit for me, too. That's a good one. After brushing teeth, even after scrubbing something fierce. <laughs> I went to, uh, I'll make this quick. I went to the dentist a couple months into carnivore, and the dental hygienist said, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean? She said, you have no inflammation in your mouth, and everyone I see has inflammation in their mouth. And when you have inflammation in your mouth, you have it throughout your whole body. And it's very commonplace now. That inflammation goes away so quickly on carnivores. So that was a little dental lesson I learned early on. I never heard that before. Same thing for me. My teeth don't ache. They feel just, they feel great. I just feel complete. I used to have toothaches and issues all the time with my teeth. I only get a toothache when I when I eat a really big ribeye and there's like a big chunk stuck in between two teeth and I got to get out. But <laughs> otherwise than that, I'm all good. Scooby dot dog said homestead house thinking about you carry it is a real yeah, thing Ellen. Ellen hey Ellen oh I think she was talking about when I said uh the senses were heightened on carnivore it's a real thing when you're operating more in your parasympathetic did I say that right parasympathetic NS your senses become more refined wow you just lost me Carrie that one right <laughs> <laughs> I think she's yeah appreciate it Ellen Hey, what's up, Alan? Chicken Little Carnivore. Hey, Carrie, my interview is live now on No Carb Life with Dave Matt. Go check it out. We'll do. Awesome. Man, I love me some Chicken Little. Let's go. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm trying to catch up on the comments here. There's Wow, there's a lot of comments. Um, let's see. I, I have a list Is that here. all the comments they can do? We can do better than that, man. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I'm probably missing some here. What was another one I had? Put in the uh, comments your guys' is on uh, most unexpected benefit. Let us know. what you, We want to hear from you guys, too. I don't see the comments moving much, man. They're actually going kind of slow, Kerry. Yeah, put it in there. Right, right. Uh, unexpected benefit or something, or QQQ if you have a question. Emma got her cat on carnivore. Everyone's been asking about that, so just real quick update. Our cats are carnivores. Our dogs are carnivore. They're awesome. The dogs are doing, like, noticeably better. Their fur is shinier. They're wagging their tails. They're happy. Emma's tr Emma's working on a video now. It's going to it's gonna win an Oscar, okay? it's she's, <laughs> she's, she's spending weeks and weeks. I was joking with JT before. I'm like, Emma, if you're watching this. Do not let perfection get in the way of progress. She is just her her cat is doing amazing. She has a cat, Adam, traumatic brain injury. Um, our cat had a traumatic brain injury, oh, wow. almost died. Uh, we have video of it on the ground when we brought it home from the emergency vet. It was literally laying on its side. I'm like, you had to lift it up to put it in the litter box. Uh, before carnivore, it started walking around, but it's always had all sorts of issues, and it's noticeable changes now that it's off of the the crappy dry food and on carnivore so we'll That's leave that awesome. for emma emma's going to be doing a video on that um let's go out. emma keep yeah. going emma get it get her done get you got this she's working on the sound design right now she's got some actors and actresses coming in to <laughs> that gotta be just perfect That's all. she's gonna be directing one day watch right. out man i make fun of her in the video she's gonna just gonna kill it <laughs> All right, I'm going through the comments here. One other unexpected benefit while I'm going through these comments that I wanted to mention was uh, everything's carnivore is easy. It's so easy. When I started carnivore, I'm like, this is insane. How can I only eat meat? It's going to be so expensive. I got to cook steaks all the time. This is going to be hard. It's the complete opposite. It was hard like the first week getting over the sugar cravings. That's why it's so frustrating for me when I see loved ones and family members that are suffering and they say to me, I could never do carnivore. It's so hard. I'm like, it's literally the easiest thing. I don't think I cooked a steak today and I ate it. I was like, right. I didn't have to worry about breakfast. I didn't have to worry about lunch. I didn't have to go to the grocery store and spend $300 and look for all sorts of different ingredients and recipes. I didn't have to snack multiple times throughout the day because my blood sugar is going everywhere. I ate a, a, a delicious steak. I'm full. I don't have to think about it. Um, I'm not in the kitchen sitting here with all the leftovers and junk food and waste. It's so much easier. Exactly. Than people than people think so yeah the extra time that would be uh the free all the free time i get now with this diet versus the other diet that was kind of unexpected like you know it's going to be a little simpler but like until you just don't realize how easy it is just to put the steak on the on on the grill and to eat it i mean totally saves you the whole night where you could actually hang out as a family or right. here yeah i wouldn't even be doing this right now seriously it'd be the, the time in the day would have been lost to cooking meals and figuring out what we're eating next, next and cleaning up the big mess and 
run into the grocery store again. So let's see some more unexpected benefits in the comments, guys. Yeah, let's, let's go. Like let's 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 I know it's it's Wednesday, right? Like they're all getting kind of tired this week. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ruled by Venus said I could eat air fried pork belly all day, every day. Never thought I'd replace my sugar addiction with meat. Food freedom is truly liberating. Yes. Absolutely. I love that word liberating too. I don't think I've ever used that word my whole life, and that's the best way to describe carnivore. Uh very, very liberating. Absolutely. Susie Underwood, one unexpected benefit is my dry eye problems have mostly resolved. It's a huge relief to have eyes that feel good. Anyone else have any eye improvements? I never really did. I know Dr. Jordan Peterson said uh, he had floaters in his eyes that disappeared after doing carnivore. Hey, they should do that. Remember the dry eyes commercial with the guy? He's like, for dry, red eyes. <laughs> you remember him? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They should do that for dry, red eyes, eat rib eyes. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. I I didn't. That's the first time I've heard someone um talk about that benefit. That's that's great. Add it to that the list awesome. of carnivore. It carnivore is just it's the diet, man. It's the it's yep. the way of life. It really is. I feel like my vision has actually changed now. If it's better or not, I go in for a checkup in a couple of months. I think so. We'll see if it's changed. It, he did. I had him do the full scan. You know, like the. Or the blood vessels and some newfangled uh, tool machine that he had. He was all geeked out about it. So I said, let's do it. So it, it shows a picture of everything inside your eye. So it'd be interesting to see the comparison now eating a carnivore diet versus what it was before. But I yeah, do feel like my vision that, has changed. What's that? Make a video on that, Adam. There you go. Get oh, yeah. Reaction. Ben Stein. That was Ben Stein. Oh, yeah. 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 Bueller. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah for dry red eyes use rib eyes guys it's pretty simple <laughs> shout out mike mike says i feel good with carnivore especially after the meal i feel so warm i'm now walking semi-naked around the neighborhood to cool down <laughs> let's go <laughs> mike is awesome hey everyone check out mike's youtube channel too uh Adam and I got to meet Mike in Chicago yeah. when we did the meetup it was awesome it was nice to meet him in person he's always such a supportive Absolutely. person leaving cool good back. comments. Mike got me on. He's like, you want to talk to Dr. Chafee? I'm in his group. But he pulled it up on his phone during the Chicago meetup. So that was pretty cool. He's um, feeling himself, man. He's walking around naked. He's really feeling himself on this, right? this diet, man. So look <laughs> out, you guys. You never know what on You might just be walking around the na neighborhood naked, too, because you're just feeling yourself. Right. <laughs> it's unexpected, you know? <laughs> we yeah. got a question here. Reno. Why carnivore tribe said bacon is part of carnivore? Don't pigs eat slop and not organic food? It depends on uh, where you're getting your, your pork from. You know, it depends on what that farmer is feeding the pigs. So um, not every, the farmer, the farms I go to, they don't feed them slop. So, I mean, I don't know. It sounds like that's uh, maybe a dis thing in a Disney movie, the old uh, pigs eating the slop or something, but. I think most farms don't uh, feed the pig slop anymore. I think it's probably a mix of grain and stuff like that. So, Right. Yeah, it's a tricky thing, too. You could make that argument for a lot of different types of meat, like chicken, for example. Uh, our good friend Sandra, One Hope for All is on here. She was talking about that before. Chickens could eat grains or chickens could eat mice and insects in the field, and, that can, and then you end up eating their eggs and you get the nutrients that they ate. So it could apply to a lot of things. But one thing on bacon, shout out myself. Uh, I was going through, I was going to do a video. Uh, I didn't want to do anything clickbaity though, but uh, I messed up on carnivore was going to be the title. I have been eating way too much bacon and my buddy oh, Bill not. You can't eat too much bacon. That's, oh, fake, news. Guys, that's can, fake news. There's a limit. You like, you can eat too. And then people are like, why, why can't I have bacon? You guys can have bacon. If you want to have bacon, have bacon. But I was eating too much. If you eat like two pounds of bacon, you're, you might be eating too much. And there are carbs in bacon, even if it says nothing. There's in carbs it. and eggs too. I hate to tell all the carnivores, right. you guys, if you're eating eggs, you're still having carbs. It's unless you're doing <laughs> the lion diet, it's really, truly hard to be carb free on the carnivore diet. That's it's just facts. Right. Well, Bill was like, get, get a pork belly from Costco, which I've done before and smoke it. Uh, and I forgot to do that. So long story short, I haven't had bacon in four days. Uh, mm, I feel like shame. I'm, I feel like I'm at a AA meeting. I haven't had bacon in four days. Right. My name's Carrie. I haven't had bacon in four days. Actually, it's, it's I haven't fine. I had bacon like, in four hours. 
it, it, I, I feel fi- <laughs> it wasn't even hard. Like I, I thought it would have been harder, but it's been fine. I've been. I, it's not like I'm sitting here craving it or my hand shaking. I was just kind of joking on that, but I feel better too. I feel more energized. I, yeah, maybe I, I, don't, I, I, I don't do bacon. Yeah. Mm, I can't listen to this, you guys. I'm almost, I'm almost <laughs> about to hit the leave studio button. This is right. getting ridiculous. As, guys. We're, as we're saying this, Emma's right in the other room. And she's probably cooking bacon right now, too. <laughs> nice. She comes Let's in with go, a big Emma. plate. You want some? Yeah. Uh, the beef bacon, shout out JT, though. That was really good. And I have to find that out. I was talking to Bill, and he's like, Carrie, just do the beef bacon. I was like, I like the beef bacon. He's like, what is that from? I, I'm like, I think brisket i don't know it's it's brisket yep it's from the brit and it's just the belly cuts of the cow and um when you get pork bacon it's belly cuts from a pig so just tell your butcher you want some um brisket beef bacon i got that would be a great video too and if you want to do lion diet and still have bacon there you Uh-oh, go but... bill bill wants the bacon suit now adam is not a big fan of the bacon suit but <laughs> bill, bill apparently is a fan of the bacon suit you know, uh, Bill. Next time, I'll bring next uh, whatever the next live stream I do with Carrie and Adam here. I'll uh, wear my birthing bacon suit. <laughs> he said, birth, birth. <laughs> Bill, when I say birthing bacon suit. They say it looks like I'm uh, when I'm in my bacon suit with the head sticking out of the hole. It looks like I'm being uh, given birth to. Uh, so you know, there's a little carnivore baby in his bacon. So if there's any uh, if there's any super fans here that stayed for the 24 hour live stream and we're asking. Why is Carrie and Adam giggling off to the side like little schoolgirls? That was why. Adam texted me and he's like, "It looks like the bacon's giving birth to baby JT or something like that." And we were we were just delirious at that point. So yes, thank you, Bill, for loving uh, JT's bacon suit. You, however, didn't have to stare at it for twenty four hours during a live stream like Adam and I did. So oh my goodness, I couldn't take it. <laughs> it was it was for the yeah. I think you was- guys' delusion was starting to set in. You're like, is he? <laughs> It was for the greater good, though. We did it for the, <laughs> took one for the team. Hey, Carnivore Cheer, $5. Hey, Lori. Uh, Lori, thank you. You're awesome. I have to sign off for a while. I hope to come back soon. Lori is great. She's also a member on the channel. We do a members-only live stream tomorrow, every Thursday at 3. And lately, I've been opening it up to the public. To Well, not the public. Opening it up to the members to jump on. And uh, Lori jumped on last time and shared her Carnivore story. So that was pretty cool. Go, thank Lori. you, Lori. Super sweet lady. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, let's see where are we at here on these comments getting caught up here and just for the fact i have not been naked in my bacon suit that's just for the record (laughs) good to know good to know (laughs) (laughs) hey speaking of awesome people karen harrington always leaving really good supportive comments question for adam how's the histamine elimination going oh it's going great yeah i'm so glad that i found uh midlife carnivore Lynn and uh, yeah, that the video that she did on histamines and on the carnivore diet is incredible. Um, yeah, it's I can't I can't thank her enough for for making that video. I literally had struggled the entire time on the carnivore diet with nausea, and and it would come and go. It wouldn't be all the time, and I could never figure out exactly what was going on. And I thought it would just I would eat too much fat, like my body wasn't processing the fat enough. And lo and behold, it was the histamine that was in the food that uh, I have a reaction to. So once I removed those high histamine, uh, you know, whatever you want to call them, baddies, uh, yeah, it's it's gotten way better. And I have not had any nausea whatsoever. And I feel tremendous. That's great. Yeah. Shout out Midlife Carnivore. I did a uh, video. Um the other day with Midlife Carnivore, it was awesome. We were talking about histamines a little bit in that one, too. Oh, yeah, right. and then she, she's great, and I think she just got a new dog, so. Oh, nice. All right, I'm almost caught up here. Sorry, guys. Gary, we should do a carnivore roll call. I want to see where everybody's from. Yeah. Where, where is everybody watching from? Yeah, leave a comment. Tell us where you're from. Susan T., unexpected benefit. I think this is a self-esteem builder. Absolutely. It is. It is. It is for sure. Herbie Lena. Unexpected benefit is not to worry about getting five to seven fruits and veggies every day. Yeah, that's the (laughs) truth. Carrie loves veggies. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Hey, we got some Georgia, Australia, California, Arizona, more Georgia, North Carolina, Minneapolis, 
There's an Ohio. South Carolina. Let's go. You guys are all over the place. There's carnivore roll call here. I'm Canada. in Wisconsin here. Wow. Ohio, Montana. Let's go. Yeah, where where should we knock on doors next? What state? If we go outside the state of Wisconsin, what <laughs> what, what state should we knock on doors? <laughs> Dr. Barry's door. Right? Hey. <laughs> That would be funny, actually. <laughs> Philly, we got Philly in here. Nice. The roll calls Belgium. Yeah. Nice. South Jersey. Dallas. Oh, we got Wisconsin there. Belgium. there you go. We got Belgium in the house. Vegas. Let's go. Brazil. Brazil. Wow. Woo. Man, this this chat is heating up now with the roll call. I, I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out where I left off here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Vancouver. Gary's getting lost. Let's go. The hey. Duck Club in Miami, Florida. Nice. Oh man, that's got to be Rick. <laughs> yep. Here we got some more coming in now. Uh, quick shout out, Adam and JT. Go check out their channels. We got links in the description below, below for both of these guys. They're doing some awesome videos over on their channels. Thanks, Gary. Carnivore today. Carnivore today, a Poco Moonshine family, I, and both of those it's, links it's, are in the description. It's today's carnivore. We don't want the carnivore from 1972. Right? Okay, we want 2024 <laughs> carnivore today. What's going on today? The That's now. Right. That's I love right. that. I love, I love that name too because that is a another unexpected benefit of carnivore. Uh, I mentioned that earlier, but the brain fog. I feel like before my life was a blur, and now I'm in living in the present more. Time's still going by quickly, but I'm living in the carnivore today. I'm living in the present more. And I was in the, in the past. It was always thinking about the future or worrying about the past. And time was just going by so quickly. That's right. I'm doing carnivore today. Right. Just and tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Kentucky, New Jersey. Let's go. You guys are all over the place. I love this name. Well, Dagnabbit. Been trying to quit smoking for 38 years, but by day three, I started getting angry and failed. Now I'm on carnivore. I'm not angry. And I'm on day 10 of quitting. Awesome. For you, oh, that's, awesome. that's a life changer. You got it. Stick to Good it. Good job, well, Dag Nabbit. Well, Dag Nabbit, you got this thing. <laughs> Reminds me of the Looney Tunes, man. I love it. <laughs> LCVB, did you all hear Bill? Not today. He is doing better. Numbness apparently was from lymph nodes in his neck. Uh, he's using a vibration plate. He's got some big updates. So don't just read the comment. Go check out his channel. He did a really cool video today. Bill's uh, always making really. moves. I love him. Question. Will you show the differences between quality meat and the way it's raised to help people understand more why carnivore is better compared to factory meat? Well, that is a very good question. I have done a little bit of that on the YouTube channel. Uh, I would like to do some of that in the documentary. However, the documentary will be eight hours long. So we're going to try to touch on that in the documentary. And I've mentioned this in the past. The hope is to do a really good, solid documentary one time and then do some sort of series or episodes another time. And I would love at some point to do an entire episode on uh, local, locally raised meat. Like we could do a whole episode just on what we filmed with Maggie or just on what I filmed with my neighbor down the road. Uh, JT's filmed with his uh, local farmer, too. You got you got other ones you're going to, right, JT? Oh yeah, I'm just waiting for uh, spring. So I've got uh, other beef farms lined up, and actually, you know, we would like to do uh, maybe in the future do a carnivore hangout at one of these beef farms. And um, what I wanted to do is just put put some of my own money up and buy a bunch of meat for you guys, and then just cook it. And whoever shows up gets some free meal, and we get to hang out. So. We'll talk more about that a different time, but we got plans, yeah. man. And it's good to support these local farmers with your plans, not just say, oh, yeah, go support them. Get your ass out there and support them. So, <laughs> so true. That was my biggest takeaway from Maggie and my neighbor. It's so important. And the thing is, like, JT, you're close to a ma Like, if I was in Milwaukee, I'd be like, well, I can't get that. Carrie, you're out in the sticks there in Montello. You got a local farm. JT. You're near Milwaukee. If I used to live in Milwaukee, and I would have thought the same thing. There's 15 local beef farms in my area, 15 of them. 15. Wow. And, and even if I lived in Milwaukee and I had to drive two hours to get local beef, I would do it. And I would just stock up and I would meet the farmer and I would know where the meat's coming from. And the, where I get it here, it's 
significantly less expensive than even buying it from a cheap grocery store. It's grass fed. It's like high quality. So mm -hmm. got to support the local farms for sure. It's so important. And that's one of my big concerns is what, what's, what next generation is going to take up that because it's a, I want Sadly, my son to go to beef farms too for his beef bacon and stuff. You know, and guys, all I did was go on Google and I typed in grass fed beef near me and it'll bring up butcher shops, local farms. It'll bring up everything that's near you. So that's a tip, you know, you guys can find out, uh, you know, as soon as this, this stream is over, you can go on there and, and type in grass fed beef near me and you can see all your local options too. And then you guys Absolutely. go there and make your own videos. Like, let's go. It was just a fun thing too. When I went, when JT and I filmed knocking on strangers' doors, JT took me to his local farmer, Schmidt Sentry Farms. It was awesome. Emma had a great time. I still have that footage. They Emma were they footage. give away free cats at this farm when you when you buy enough beef bacon. I'm right? telling you, it's the place to go. It's just a cool place to hang out. Just cool people. That they, they had a farm store. You can check out the store, and then they took us around the farm. And Emma had a blast there. So, and that was like I said, that's right. Oh, Carrie. Right in the Remember that we had a goose almost destroy the Netflix camera. Right. Like this right. thing attacked Carrie. That wasn't the Netflix camera though. Netflix oh, okay. Camera. That yeah. scared me because that goose really came for it. I specifically brought my old camera because I was <laughs> I was worried about that and it's easier on the gimbal for Emma to carry around. But uh, yeah, that would have been. Oh, there man. is video of this uh, goose attacking Carrie. Yeah, I, I just reviewed it the other day. It, it <laughs> took a bite out of my took a bite out of my lens. So I, I'd like to add to that last comment. Um, so there's some people that have an issue if, if beef isn't ethically raised. So some people can't afford, you know, maybe grass fed, grass finished beef because it, it is more expensive. It is. Um, and then you have different processes for buying from a local rancher too. Sometimes they, they only offer a side of beef or a whole beef or a quarter or whatever. And that's a lot of money for people. You know, I always try to take the tack that the, the animals that are in the stores you know, Walmart, Costco, Sam's Club, things like that. You know, you can honor those animals by eating that as well. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, the practices aren't that great for, for a lot of that meat, but, you know, I just, I don't think being so, so dogmatic about not saying that you are, but I, there's some people that are tr really, really dogmatic about it. And, and like, that's an evil thing that they're offering those animals. Uh, obviously it's not ideal, but you can still honor those animals by, you know, ingesting yeah, well, them into your body and healing yeah. yourself. So why would yeah. you want to waste a life? You know, so if they if it still is available and honestly, I would rather have this the store. I know it's not most of it. It's not done the proper way sometimes, but uh, I would rather health wise eat that meat than um, something made from a factory that looks like a Cheeto or something. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, so, for sure. you know, no, no, it's not going to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? We're still we, we can't get everybody to just treat animals the way they should be treated. You know, like uh, you said that the one guy said, I forgot who said it, but they said this animal only has one bad day on the farm. And that that's his D day, you know, but otherwise all the other days they live incredibly good lives. And that's the goal. And, um, you know, just do your best support. Support if you can't afford to obviously go grass fed, but support local farmers that you know you can go there. I can go and look at watch my uh, local farmer Roger and Deanna, both of them. Like the the cows look great, they're happy. The animals are all happy. Like you can go there and see for yourself. Some of these other bigger places you can't see, but that's why I said go on Google, find someone near you that you can actually see how they're treating their animals, and you can feel a lot better about um, where your food's coming from. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Good stuff. Anthony Romano. Every carnivore influencer I've seen has looked better and better in each video. Oh, thanks. I'm so glad this is becoming more normalized. Yeah. Shout That's out Bill. That's a great name, man. Roman. I like that. Shout out Bill Knott. Uh, Emma and I were watching the video and we both looked at each other like, man, he's looking great. His face, you could just see it. Uh, that was photos that he shared when he was younger. Bill was like oh, yeah, a yeah. damn uh, uh, Levi's jeans model, like Amber <laughs> Crombie model. I'm serious, like, dude, Bill. Where's that picture? He's a looker, man, dude, and he still is, man. I I was just amazed, man. Like, Bill has always been a looker, man. Good for him. Bill, Bill, if you're still in the chat, buddy, you got to text me that picture. I'm gonna throw that up on the screen right now. If people haven't seen that yet. Everyone, go check out Bill's channel. 
<laughs> Dude, he's got these, he's got those eyes, man, those mesmerizing <laughs> eyes, man. I'm like, man, if he was playing, if he was in, you know, playing an instrument like that, like, look out, ladies, don't look in his direction. He's going to be mesmerized. That's, that's <laughs> the crazy thing with Bill, too, is I said this to him before, but I'm like, that man has lived several lives already. Like, professional, legit musician. Not just I play the guitar. He is really good. Come on, Bill. Bill, I have that picture somewhere. <laughs> Bill, you never should have shared it in your Let video because now we well, now we know. We'll just have to screenshot it then. One sec. I think I got it. I think I got a picture here. But no, I saw those uh those um pictures that Bill put up and I was like, wow man, I, I knew this cat was uh you know, I knew he was a good looker, man. <laughs> Where's Carrie going? I think he's got a poster of Bill on the wall. <laughs> I got it. I got Bill. I, okay, this isn't the this isn't from Bill's modeling years, but this is a good picture that uh, I protect and value very much here. Well, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but here we go. Oh, I remember nice. that. That's good memories. Awesome. I love Which it. Which is the next one where you guys take a photo of him outside of the house, man, underneath those beautiful stars in Alaska? I I, I cannot wait, man. I can't either. Bill and I were talking about that yesterday. He's like, I can't wait to get on the four wheeler and get up here. Dr. Tony Hampton. Let's yep. go. Nice. Yeah. We got, we got a little collection of uh, photos going from uh, the documentary. Hey, look at this. Shout out. Who's your carnivore? Brett. Hey, he, Brett. Brett. He was doing an eight day fast. I think I think the eight days is up now because I think he started on the first. I haven't. Well, he was doing him. like nine, and then he was like, "Man, maybe nine. I'll do 10, 11. He's like, "I'm feeling like Iron Man." I'm Has like, anyone just... heard from Brett? Is he? I just, he's got to be doing great. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to text him <laughs> after this. He's literally <laughs> the king of cast iron, you guys. So go check out his channel. He's awesome, and he's just a nice, great guy. Lots of great tips. Very supportive. Like he's one of one of my favorite voices in the carnivore uh, community. And he yeah. makes a mean smash burger. Oh, dude, yeah, he's what? What is that called? The flat top grill he's got? Yeah, it's like a Blackstone flat oh, top. Yep, dude, I'm telling you, you guys, gotta watch his videos. Who's your carnivore? Who's your carnivore? Brett is. Brett's your carnivore. That. And Brett came out to the Chicago meetup. Too. We gotta get Adam, JT. We gotta get another meetup going. That was Absolutely. so much fun. That was Hopefully so. My fun. babysitter won't get sick this time, but uh, we got the bracelets now too. We can go. hand out to people. Carnivores like, don't have excuses, right? <laughs> Hey, yeah, well, I wish. <laughs> right. A uh, question for Adam: What benefits have you noticed since starting priming? I'm in Montana. Basically, I feel like so the premise of priming is that you're malnourished, and you're trying to give your body everything that it needs to uh, have all the systems optimal. And I have felt like I've been malnourished my entire life. So now that I've started really eating a lot more food than I normally would. Uh, I have a general sense of well-being that's that's higher than what it was before, for sure. So I have an autoimmune condition and people with autoimmune conditions absorb nutrients uh, at a lower rate than people that don't have an autoimmune condition. So I think that that was blocking me for many, many years with absorbing nutrients, eating a sad diet and then transitioning to a vegan diet for two years prior to going carnivore. So I was severely malnourished for a long time and going carnivore has helped because now I'm putting in the right fuels, but I still have a lower intake of nutrients. So the energy level for me dropped a little bit on carnivore. So I was maybe at a 40% level of energy. And then I went all the way up to like a hundred to maybe even beyond a hundred. It was like Energizer Bunny times 10 on steroids. But now it's dropped down to about 80%, which is still double what it was before. And I still feel good, but I know that I can get higher than what I was. So I'm trying this priming out to see if it'll it'll push through and help get those cells repaired and move me to the next level. Nice. You'll be primed and ready for the next level. I'm telling you. <laughs> right. Oh, we got we got some good comments now here. Bill Nott is a handsome guy. He's going to be fending off proposals soon. Oh, man, we're getting all the Bill comments now. <laughs> oh, they're going to start coming out of the wood. Bill just has in Alaska, come... man. They're just going to start sprouting. <laughs> Bill has come to bed. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> he <Woo! does. laughs> Bill Nott. Oh, come on. What nationality are you, Bill? 
I think build he's a, uh, Japanese, isn't he? <laughs> right. Bill the rock star. Bill, those pictures are awesome. Yeah, I saw Bill not play the guitar. It was awesome. <laughs> it's some good comments here. So, JT, how much did you pay those people to, to cook a mistake? Uh, you know, um, <laughs> you know, we slid them a couple bucks, you know, after the video. J JT's they cousins? signed a non-disclosure agreement. Told I mean, them it, was, it was the first house. Like, oh, yeah, come it's, on it's, now. All, it's all vibrations, man. And her dad was on the carnivore diet. Like, it's, yeah, that's crazy. I, I don't chuck it that. up to anything else but more than what my coach said, man. Uh, it's just vibrations, and you just have to let go. And I just started driving where Carrie was like, well, go wherever you, where, wherever, wherever's calling you. So I drove over there and I pulled up and I said, well, he was outside. I said, let's start with this house. It's the first house on the corner. We can work our way down. And uh, he, he said yes right away. I was like, man, let's get back in the car and go buy some ribeyes. I'm hungry. Right? Like, <laughs> we were, I was so stunned too. And then when we went inside, we actually said to them, can you just say on camera? Like, of course we could tell someone that, but like, we have we've never met before, right? It was just so crazy that that worked out that way. Wait till the next ones. You know, we're obviously going to get turned down at some point. Right uh, now, it's going to be like a thousand doors. Like I was expecting, we'd have to knock on at least fifty. Now, on if I hand, looked like Bill, I probably wouldn't get turned down too much. I would they right? would just hit him with the eyes, and they'd say, "Come right on in, blue eyes." You know, and that would right. be that. <laughs> <laughs> with but guitar. no, we, we got some fun stuff planned. We we were trying to go out of the box with carnivore because I. I, just to, I, there's nothing wrong with all of us doing carnivore content, but right now to the documentaries out there, carnivore is actually kind of a small thing. I know it's getting more popular, but most of the people, uh, the audience that we want are not carnivores yet. So I've been trying to think of ways to get to the people who aren't carnivores yet for, you know, cause, uh, that's just like, I feel like that's the future of the carnivore content. You can only tell the same people. Uh, things over and over and there's nothing wrong with telling people the same things but I, i'm like i'm trying to focus on getting to the people who aren't carnivore because i think that's a way bigger market absolutely mm -hmm. well and that's the people that need the healing too absolutely sure. yeah that's where we're going to make the biggest impact and and it's great for the people who already know about carnivore to sit there fire up your ribeyes and to just turn on you know a, a great video where we're, where we're walking around as the idiots out in the cold and knocking on doors and trying to see who's going to actually let us in their house. I think it's a fun idea. I would watch it if I wasn't the one in it. I would be like, man, I'll make another one of those. So if you guys want us to do more of those, just let us know and we'll keep uh, trying to deliver. Yeah. And we will deliver. That's what we do. Or tell us, uh, give us some other ideas. One thing we were talking about that would be fun is, uh, putting a table out with a banner on it that says, I eat only meat, ask me why in some public area. Adam, you did something recently on Instagram or something with, what is that, Crowder or something? He's always got the oh, table. Yeah. Something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, change my mind. Change my mind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That could be uh, fun. Red, red meat is the healthiest meat that you can eat. Yeah, cha change, change my, my mind. mind. <laughs> right. That's a good one. Um, all right, let me see here. I got something here. Uh. I got to share my screen just a second. This is going to be fun. Yeah, Renee. Uh, question no for Adam. Some more. We can do it. Question uh -oh. for Adam on the screen there. What high histamine foods did you eliminate? Uh, egg whites and smoked meats. And I already was eating a low amount of bacon, but bacon is gone because it's high in histamine and butter is gone. So I can eat butter, but it has to be sweet cream butter, but I'm too lazy to go to the store and get it. So, and I'm pretty easy with, I can literally eat just one thing every single day for the rest of my life. <laughs> when I was eating the SAD diet and I was in uh, the machine building industry for decades, um, I ate a pepperoni pizza and a chocolate milk every single morning for 10 years you sound like me that's my favorite man or that was my favorite <laughs> chocolate milk it's a pepperoni pizza man right wow yes. that's all right I eliminated. does anyone want to see the picture of bill not that we were talking about 
Let's go. Now, Leave ladies, 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 you got to be sure respectful you're down, here. Make sure, make sure you're sitting down in a chair before we show this photo. <laughs> and and before I show it, you got to go and make sure you're subscribed to Bill's channel, uh, Adam's channel, JT's channel. Go subscribe to Bill. Make sure you guys go watch that video afterwards. Should, should I show it now? Make sure you're sitting down, ladies. Easy now. Here we go. Boom. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Now, <laughs> Abba, that seem like he's he's like the lead singer in some band, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at the hair even, man. The eyebrows, man. He's the, got the, look at the jawline. Look at that jawline. That's the cowboy leather jacket, status, man. Yep. Th yeah, there's nothing about this photo that isn't swagged out, man. Yep. <laughs> you he's know what make, he's missing? Make use of the cows even back then. You know, don't waste anything. Mm -mm. Leather jacket. He's Love missing. It. He's missing one thing. What's that? The He's bacon nice. suit. The no. bacon suit. <laughs> Could you imagine? Right? Can you imagine that beautiful face popping out of a bacon suit? Right. Man? Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine. <laughs> oh, no, Bill, I'm telling you, man, I never looked that good in my entire life. So you are killing it, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Bon Jovi what... vibes. Yeah, man. I'm yeah, there you, you go. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that video that he released today, uh, you can definitely tell a difference that he's lost fluid in his in his face. Yeah. And it has to be because of that uh, vibration plate and, uh, you know, the lymphatic system draining the, the fluids. It's There's those, definitely those a difference. carbohydrates, too. There's literally the word hydrate in carbohydrates because it helps you hold and retain fluids. Yep. So if you can cut out the carbohydrates, we can shrink, uh, get rid of some of that water. Look at that, man. Is he modeling for rainbow trout? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. You can, That's like a, a Rocky Mountain magazine photo, man. Yeah, like, Cab Cabela's. Yeah, like you won't find them all walking around Alaska like that, I'll tell you that. Just Bill, I'm telling you, he's one in a million. Yeah, just needs that bacon suit. That's awesome. <laughs> Those – uh, just so everyone knows, before I get yelled at in the comments, I had permission to share those. Bill just texted me though, so nice. I didn't do Yo, it without his. Man. Didn't do it without his permission. See, and then we can have a fun. He helps us have a fun live stream. So thanks, Bill. Thank you, Bill. That was awesome. Bill's, Bill's now this blushing. video is probably going to go viral, Bill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's missing one thing: a lady on his arm. I'm sure there'll be no shortage of ladies here. Yeah, from the sounds like uh -oh. it from the comments too. <laughs> I'm sure he's got. I've, he's an eligible bachelor now. Uh, that's for sure. You know, oh, and yeah. it's wait wait till his documentary comes out. He's his eligible status is going to go up there like <laughs> Prince Harry, man. Here we go. Uh, Susan, Lydia, I noticed I don't have to throw bad fruit and veggies away. I do go to a regular food store, except for cheaper organic butter and meat on sale. The most purchases are from a regenerative farm. Yeah, yeah that's that is awesome. an unexpected benefit. Nice Good for one. you, Susan. Carnivore dating. Yeah, there you go. Is, wasn't that most like the, the rottenest smell ever? The Just the rotted vegetables in the back of the fridge? Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like in it, a pool of slime. <laughs> it was a rotted smell coupled with just this feeling of, um, what what is my word I'm thinking of? Disappointment? frustration like right. oh yeah i just paid for all that stuff and now i have to throw half of it out and it would happen over and over you always go in with good intentions i'm gonna eat fruits and vegetables it's so good for you you throw <laughs> half of them out and you feel like crap after you eat them yeah, yeah you, well, made you feel you, good that you bought them, you know? i think i did that in my video <laughs> i did a i did a rant video the other day about how i'm never eating fruits and vegetables again you anymore. ranted you don't rant i was a little bit of a rant <laughs> I, I was in a good I, I got overwhelmingly very good comments but a few people were like chill are you okay and i'm like no, it's just having fun <laughs> no he's not okay nah, harry's just being carry you know and that's why the video did well man because people like you when you're being yourself man who else can you be well you know the funny thing was i said this to jt jt and i worked so hard on the knocking on doors for neighbors one that video me ranting about vegetables and fruit i literally took the camera and walked i didn't prep or anything i'm like i was just talking about i walked around and that was it and that that'll get a million views you walking around but we knocking on strangers doors exactly. no one watches it that's what's happening so go watch the strangers knocking on doors video it's better than me complaining about fruits and vegetables but one thing i want to say about fruits and vegetables the last thing is how come it is okay for vegans to say i'm never eating meat again but for me to say I'm never eating fruits and vegetables is just insane, and it goes against the grain. Because I got a lot of comments, even from carnivore people, saying 
you're giving Carnivore a bad name doing stuff like this. You shouldn't be doing it. But I, why is one okay, but not the other? When we interviewed Dr. Hampton, he said something like that. You know, if they have meatless Monday, why can't we have a day that's just meat, only meat and no fruit exactly. or vegetables? It should go both ways. Well, Kerry, we're told red meat's as bad as smoking cigarettes, man. Like, it, to me, it's not a big shock. They, it, you're get, starting to get people less and less with that mentality like that's just nonsense the fact that we were told that red meat's as bad as smoking cigarettes so i think when you that's why when they feel a little bit more vindicated and justified we're like well yeah i'm not eating the red meat like well you've got the wrong idea about red meat so it, you know it's all in the perspective you know but i feel like now fruits and veggies are the new uh um cigarettes you know what I'm saying? right <laughs> absolutely well I, I think I made some good arguments in there. But again, in that video, for anyone, I hope I didn't. A couple of people were like, I'm carnivore. I still have fruits and vegetables. And they were insulted. I'm like, don't be insulted. And I wasn't telling anyone what to do. I'm just, this is me. Yeah, and this he's is pissed what, off Joe Rogan, just, man. He's still having <laughs> fruits and veggies. He'll never right. do anything with us now. Here. Yeah. Um, My thing, too, with that video, the last thing I'll say on this was, I didn't even cover half the stuff I could have covered. Some of the emails I got afterwards about uh, Roundup and glyphosate. Glyph Am I saying that right? Glyphosate. Yep. Well, that's coming on part Ooh. two. So yeah, wait, part two. Guys, wait till coming you see out. Part Man, two. I went so, down a rabbit hole learning about that stuff, and that is makes me never want to eat a fruit or vegetable again or go outside and swim in the Mississippi River or breathe fresh air. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> it's like Gary, I was going to do a video on that and, and effectively just count up, you know, try to do research, like real research and from reputable sources on the animal deaths, but uh, it's hard. It was hard for me to find at least, especially with pesticides, because a lot of them were biased towards pesticides used for, you guessed it, animal feed mm. for cattle. So, yeah. Yeah. So it was hard to find any real numbers, you know, on pesticides used for vegetables and fruits and, and that sort of thing. So, right. Yeah. Kerry, that should be our next video. We'll go to the Roundup factory and see if we can cook steaks for the owner and, and uh, convert them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cranky Carnivore Cutler said, my inflammatory arthritis <laughs> is diminishing it. and is almost to the point where I should be able to help a local rancher who is struggling to keep selling at nearby farmer markets. That's awesome. That's, That's awesome. Cool. You don't sound so cranky anymore. Good for you. Right. Yeah. You're going to have to change that name. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, shout out DC Learning to Live, another great, hey, great David. guy, great David. YouTube channel. Good day, guys. How you doing? Doing wonderful. Man, we're on Carnivore. We're, we're doing great, great. great. We're doing great. Thankful, grateful, blessed. Feel amazing. Thank you. I just published a interview with him. It was that was a long one, but you know his story is so so incredible that it it had to be a long one. So if you need to sit down and relax and listen to something other than the garbage that's on TV. Go listen to David's Something story. Inspirational, inspirational. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? This, this guy literally almost died, and now he's like a Terminator man. It's it's amazing. Like it's a story, right? Duck eggs. <laughs> Rick, shout All out, right. Rick. Rick, another amazing, awesome person. Always leaving really good comments. Really appreciate you, Rick. Do iguanas lay eggs? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Have you ever had an iguana egg? Is that is that a thing? Is that or do they give live birth? I'm not sure. Did I just throw a wrench in the? I don't know. We have iguana eggs on the carnivore diet. <laughs> what, what came What came first, the iguana or the egg, Rick? Let's go. Come on, Rick. You know, and there was just uh, uh, aliens at the mall in Miami, and I was like, you know, I was thinking of Rick. I said, hopefully, Rick gets the hell out of there. Hopefully, he's not anywhere near that mess. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. We got hey, hey, JT, I just Googled it. They do lay eggs, even, even when they are not fertile. Well, there, Rick, have you had an iguana uh, omelet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm wondering, you know, he gets the free duck eggs. Why not grab the iguana <laughs> eggs? Oh, he says, I have eaten the eggs. Man, you are a savage, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I love nice. Rick, man. He's like my favorite carnivore of all time. Man. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> Sorry, Scooby everybody. Uh, any of the other carnivores, Rick is like my favorite. Man. <laughs> Seriously, fruits and veggies and grains are so glyphosate laden; they are toxic. Yeah, I can just see uh, Rick now tiptoeing through the the 
iguana nest. <laughs> yeah, like the Grinch, man. Jesus. Avoiding the, the iguanas whipping their tails at him and he's stealing their eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Grinch in that shit. Oh, Rick, you're the best, dude. Question for Rick. I keep meaning to ask you, Rick, from Sandra. Where do you get all the ducky food? Dumpster diving? Question mark. Let's see. Does anyone else have any questions? Post them in the sidebar. I, I think I, I probably missed some. Or Speak uh, now or forever hold your carnivore peace. Right. <laughs> or into the next live stream. Right. So one, another unexpected benefit for me was uh, depression and anxiety. <clears throat> anxiety I knew was there because I always avoided social situations and things like that. Now I have a YouTube channel, so that's uh, that's 100 percent gone. I don't have any stresses or worries in terms of anxiety and depression. I did really did. It was there, but I wasn't diagnosed, but I didn't really know that it was there until I went on a carnivore diet and realized how much better my overall sense of well-being was. So those were definitely unexpected benefits for me. It's amazing to not know something's there until it leaves, right? Absolutely. Mm. I love it. Yeah, that's another unexpected benefit of carnivore. I've heard from many people, myself included, like I didn't even really knew that was an issue because I suffered from it for like two decades. It became my new normal. The brain fog was one of them. Um, for me, it was a back pain too. Actually, that's another one. I have three discs in my back that are out of alignment. So my, my lower back is like crooked from an accident. And uh, my back pain, I've had... I'm on like day 204 of the carnivore diet. I've literally had maybe three days where my back has hurt. And nice. to me, that's a win because every day my back hurt before. I was always using like these little foam rollers. Yep. You put them on the ground and you lay down. And then I had the TENS unit, you know, where you put the electric shock pads on. And if you anybody does have back pain, I suggest you get a TENS unit, T-E-N-S, TENS unit. It's like a $12 masseuse that fits in your back pocket, and it's just great. Even if you pull something quick, you know, like if you don't have a consistent uh, chronic pain, back pain, if you pull something and feel like you're kind of achy, you can put it on your muscles, and it just makes you feel good. And what, like two AA batteries, and you've got a, a, a masseuse all day? It's right. like the best invention. I just want to interrupt for a second. We have a special guest that's going to join us in a couple uh -oh. minutes. So I'm not saying who it is, but... Woo! You you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna hang around for this guest for sure. All right, uh -oh. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm the, gonna make my my hat flip off. I have a feeling, man. Are we ready? Uh, I'm I ready. See. I was gonna build up some more uh tension, but here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go. Yay! Hey. <laughs> my hat, brother. Oh, I need the bucket hat. Where's my bucket hat? Hey, <laughs> I think I gave you one of these. Actually. I have one in the other room too. I'm, I'm mailing Jeff two of them. Nice, JT. Hey, My doctor, dude. turn the volume down. We got the volume on the, we got the volume on Peter's TV in his bedroom. Turn that down because I'm hearing two, <laughs> a two little sets, echo. Two sets of people, yeah. Man, hey, I should wear my Jeff glasses too, man. Dang, I didn't know the, the man was showing up. You got to be ready. You got to be I ready. I know. JT. I should have kept him right here, dude. I'm very. Oh. Hey, let's go. Dude, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and last night I was watching. We're cooking, baby. Last night I was watching that one. <laughs> Yeah, nice. man, we're we're crazy and we're cooking. <laughs> Listen, you got hey, you guys have cheered me up because I had a rough day, man. Here's my chemo bottle; it's going in me right now. I uh, had a long day, but you guys cheer me up. I love it. You man, cheer, us, cheer up, us up, man. You're, you're looking yeah. great too, despite what you're going through today. You're looking What's great. That bucket hat, bro. Hey, is oh, that no, Miami guys, Dolphins? Yeah, that's a Dolphins that from... bucket hat. That's from Fort Lauderdale. We bought I was gonna say, I, I think I see the Dolphins on there, my dude, man. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it was hey guys it was crazy we were down in fort lauderdale for the like past 10 11 12 days whatever it was um the past weekend on the strip on the beach i never seen so many buffalo bills fans really it was what? absolutely because buffalo was playing miami oh on, uh, su on sunday night it was at, and buffalo needed to win and they wanted to make the playoffs so if I we left Sunday afternoon, I was gonna go to the game because it was crazy. I've never seen so many Buffalo Bills fans in my life in in Fort Lauderdale. Like it was crazy. Man, I've been so jealous watching your videos. Like I just want to put my my toes in that sand you were at. Man. <laughs> oh, like, for oh, sure. So nice. <laughs> no, it was so unbelievable, guys. And like, this is the thing. I understand why people that live 
down south and and shout out to russ our buddy russ because he lives down south right he's they're soaking in the vitamin d they're, they they can exercise is like i'm so motivated to exercise when i'm down there because everybody's exercising around you uh they're getting vitamin d now i come back to ontario and like yesterday we had snow and rain and slush all day no sun people have been telling me here in ontario we've had no sun for three weeks like this is crazy now you know why Rick, uh, Rick, the four-year carnivore, looks so good, man. He's always on the beach. Yes, absolutely. And you know what? That's why I think, and to expand on the, the carnivore diet, the carnivore diet is going to make our minds and our bodies feel the best during these gloomy days. So I'm, I'm, I'm so hyped to listen. I was listening to you guys all night tonight, me, Peter, and Dante. And, uh, you know, it just motivates me. I am going to do this. I'm, I'm fasting right now, but this weekend I'm doing lion diet for sure for three days in a row, lion diet and see, I'm going to see how long I can go. Um, because I've been eating the odd chicken, the odd pork, the odd cheese, the, a bunch of eggs, but I got to get rid of all the carbs. So I gotta, I gotta try lion diet. I know Carrie motivates me a lot. So do you got all three of you guys motivate me? So thank you. I just wanted to come on and say that. And uh, I had to get my bucket hat on because <laughs> I was uh, I was not looking the greatest, but I look really. I, now I know why JT wears bucket hats all the time because it, it cheers you up, doesn't it? it? It man, it's like the it's like the cherry on on the top, man. It just it just <laughs> it completes everything, man. If you're having a bad hair day or a no hair day, hey, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. you can with the bucket hat on, man. You look good, dude. And I like how you collect them for where you from where you visit. Yeah. And things. So well, I saw that. I was like, yeah, it looks like Miami. My boy was in Florida. I, absolutely well it helps that my son dante he loves bucket hats like he, just as much probably as you do jt so that's why i'm sending you two of them you each that's get amazing one. we're gonna be so hyped i can't wait we're gonna we'll do, a video, we'll do a video together when when we get the hats yeah let's go <laughs> hey i want to say a shout out i a lot of the, your subscribers my subscribers are saying hi to me thank you very much special shout out to San, sandra Sandra's always on there and she, and she really, she really motivates me and she signs off with Jeff. Jeff is on a journey to being cancer free all the time when she writes comments to me. So thank you, Sandra. Um, and thank you all the subscribers. Uh, you know, everybody that's tuned in, like to all four of us, all four of our channels. I think it's amazing because we're all trying to help everybody in this world become the best human beings possible by Absolutely. eating, by eating the proper human diet. So thank you guys. Jeff, wh wh what's been one of your uh, favorite unexpected benefits of the carnivore diet? Mine was making all all sorts of new friends like you and Adam and Carrie. Like that's been unexpected to me, man. I, I just didn't see like you guys coming in my life like this. It's awesome. I agree. I agree with you, uh, JT. The, the unexpected friends like you guys, like three months ago before I started YouTube, Dante and Peter were going to me, dad, we don't know any other carnivore friends other than Dwight dr dr dwight my buddy okay we didn't know anybody so now we're connecting and i now i'm even getting text messages and emails from like former students that i taught that are becoming carnivore and or they become carnivore for the past three months because of uh, what that. we're doing so it's That's like awesome. and they're having so many health benefits so jt you're right now selfishly what my my uh my huge benefit or unexpected benefit from going carnivore is you know, I don't even have to work out and I'm looking in pretty good shape. Like, I, 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 you know, what? I'm I'm down to my like high school or university uh, athlete performance weight and body. And I and it's making me really hyped. Like I like I heard uh, Adam today. I was watching you today, Adam. I think you were interviewing someone and you said you felt like you were 29 years old. Well, oh, I was yeah. watching the, I was watching the video of you with the Australian guy, the uh, David. Ex yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you're so right, Adam, like you, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm 29 years old. Like I'm in my twenties. Like, so it's, that's a real unexpected thing that, you know, I was doing carnivore mainly for cancer. Right. But Dwight has taught me that, you know, Jeff, you're going to go back to the weight you're supposed to be at. And, and we all have a weight that we're supposed to be at. And, you know, uh, JT, I think carbohydrates, you're right. It, it, it inflames you. It fills you up with water. It makes us look horrible. Right. So, mm -hmm. so, you know, the, this carnivore diet is something amazing. And I, we got to keep doing what we're doing and spreading the word for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, would you let us in your house if we knocked on your door? 
One hundred percent. Let's and, go. And, and you know what? I love that. I love that video. And <laughs> Carrie, you're right. When you guys come back, we got to do a Canada version. Big time. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Big oh. time. People in Canada are so nice. They're like, oh, hey, come on in. What? The, we'll get the first one. Yeah. <laughs> that was hey, my, hey, my... Huge shout out. Huge shout out to Russ. Yes. And I love Russ. And Russ, I've been watching you quite a bit lately, too. Especially because whenever we need to smile, me and the boys, we watch Russ. And Russ, you, ha- you have a weigh-in. I think you had a weigh-in today or yesterday or something. So I hope that went well. And I love Russ's attitude. Because even if it didn't go well, he's going to make it go well. He's only going to be in that 500 pound club for like a day or two and he's going to get out of it. Right. And that's the same thing with all of us that are going through things. Like I'm going through cancer. I don't care about like if one tumor grew a little bit, like I don't care about it. I'm going to make it better. Right. And care, you know, Carrie's taught me that, that you got to take your life in your own hands. They're two, your two hands. Right. And take control of that. So thank you. And Carrie, I want to thank you again. And if everybody's listening and watching and anybody that knows people with cancer, they got to check out, Seafrid's interview with me and Carrie yesterday and uh it's on his channel it's on my channel because Carrie I learned so much from yesterday's interview Uh, likewise yeah it was invaluable I'm so happy we did it and the comments that are already coming through I just added Jeff's channel to the description go watch that video on Jeff's channel it's a whole interview we did with Professor Seafried and Jeff asked him some really good questions like the questions you had about glutamine I'd never heard him talk about those things before that's no, gonna help absolutely and gonna help so stuff, many people the stuff that uh meta, metastatic cancer the, the, the cancer that's metastasized its main source is glutamine. And that's what I'm struggling with right, right now. So I got to figure out a way to suppress that. You guys, can, everybody, all the subscribers can listen and watch that and learn more about it. And, you know, mostly the primary tumors rely on glucose. And I'm, I've mastered that. I've been pretty good at that so far. I can get better. But I learned so much. My scientific literacy has gone through the roof just from yesterday. Right. Yeah. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Guys, I don't want this is your show. And I, I, I just wanted to pop in and say hi and thank you, Carrie, for inviting me. Well, I just want to piggyback off something you said real quick. Yeah. One of, another unexpected benefit of carnivore diet is, I don't know if you guys can agree with me, is all the stuff I've learned that I didn't know until yeah. I got on this diet. For sure. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Jeff, just a quick question here. Uh, well, he said, could see it in your eyes. You were hooked by what Professor Seafried was saying. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was totally engaged. And I was actually writing, I was writing notes like I was in class. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I said to Carrie in the video, I'm going to have to rewatch it 10 times. I've already watched it twice today. Like I listened to it while I was driving to my, my naturopath doctor. Um, I watched it again with one of my sons tonight. Like I'm, I'm, I'm already like, I'll, I'll have 10 views of that in like in the next week or two for sure. Yeah. Huge, huge shout out to uh, Professor Seafree too. My goodness, what a good person. He's so, I, I feel bad for him because he's like, I've been talking about this stuff for like 10 years. You can hear the frustration and I totally feel it. Like this should just be out there. People should know about it. And he's been shouting it from the rooftops and it's still news to everybody. So, yeah. hey, Adam, Russ just took a shot at you, eh? Hey, hey, Jeff, are you going <laughs> to let him do that? Russ, <laughs> come on, man. Listen, the next he doesn't know when to take the gloves off. I drive to Florida. I'm stopping in Jacksonville, and I might have to put my boxing gloves on for that one. (laughs) Because Adam, he's he's looking like a champ. He's looking like he's looking like he's he's 25. He may have to he may have to up that uh, that super chat amount just a little bit more next time to say that. (laughs) He won't read it. Oh, Adam, man, flexing the power. (laughs) <laughs> Russ, Russ, just so you know that uh, Adam is an admin on this uh, StreamYard thing. So he's pushing the buttons and letting people in and out, and he's controlling <laughs> stuff. But seriously, huge shout-out to Russ. Russ is an awesome, awesome Absolutely. guy. Thank you, Russ. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go because this is your show, and you guys got to close it off without me on here. I just want to say hi to everybody, okay? Appreciate it, Jeff. Okay, you always Jeff, have always you. have an open invite. Hold on a sec. Dante, get in there. Say hi. Dante's Dante. There. Dante. Dante. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's All go. Right. Nice. See you later. See you, See you buddy. buddy. See you, Jeff. I'm well, telling you, awesome. how good is this community, man? I'm telling you. You know, you got I- Russ busting jokes on Adam. <laughs> you got Jeff lighting everybody up, man. You know, Carrie's awake. I, I, it's <laughs> everything's going good, you know.
when we were talking about doing the Canadian version of knocking on doors, I just put a big smile on my face. I love that idea. And the Canadian politeness thing is so funny to me. Adam, you probably remember this. I don't know if you do, but I keep anytime I'm having a little bit of a down day, which is rarely I think of when Adam, his uh, Jeff and his two sons, uh, we were in the car. We went to McDonald's to order patties. And the first thing Jeff says when we pull up to the drive through, uh, sorry. Eh? <laughs> Who apologizes at a drive through? He apologized before he even did anything. Yeah. It was so funny. Uh, and then he says, We're carnivores. <laughs> I have this whole thing memorized. We're, we're, we're carnivores in here. And uh, we're going to need uh, 32 patties, please. <laughs> listen, we're car- that's kind of like how I was when I walked up to Chris and t- I was like, All right, listen, dude, we're, listen, we're on this uh, carnivore diet. All right. Just, just hear me out. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I laugh every time I think of that. That is the reason I love Jeff so much, too. That guy talks to everybody. Like you, JT. Like, he will have no problem knocking on doors. Well, that's when why we... we get along, man. I'm telling yeah. you, he's right up my alley. The bucket had everything, man. We're like kindred souls, man. We went to, like, a and got... We went to A and W and got burgers everywhere we're going. Jeff's like, yeah, come on over. He's just talking to everybody. It was it was a blast. I can't wait to get back up there again. Yeah, everybody, put in a put a shout out to Jeff in there. Uh, thanks for coming on here, Jeff. Dude, you made the stream that much better, and we got a, a photo from Bill. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you, this stream is really uh, hey. chucked up to be something. Look who else we got here, Brett. Who's your carnivore, Brett? We were talking about you earlier. Oh. I'm fasting hey, too, Jeff. Brett. Ten days. Ooh. You're extending it from nine to twelve days. You're an That's animal, incredible. Brett. You're an animal. Is I fasting going it. to be part of the? Is fasting going to be part of the documentary? Yeah, you know, if well, you go over 30 days, we'll get your ass in there if you're still alive. Because <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a feat in itself, man. Uh, <laughs> it is. But to my point earlier, that's the tough part is what can we balance and fit in the documentary? But uh, Jeff's regimen, metabolic therapy, a huge part of that is fasting. So absolutely. I hope we can do a longer dedicated version on just fasting after that. That's yeah, incredible, sure. Brett. Oh, my goodness. Going to 12 days. Yeah, if Good anybody's job, fasting right now and you need some support, hit up hit up Brett. Who's yeah, Jeff, Jeff too. I'm sure Jeff is still watching this. Yes, yes. Jeff, yeah. I think I think Brett's earlier fast was eight days. I if I get this correctly, he was gonna do nine, and now he's like, let's just go to 12, which is amazing. So he started on the January 1st. I was gonna do it with him too, and then I ate some bacon that morning. I like I completely forgot about it, and I'm like, uh, ah. and then I had the excuse, but You've got weak knees for that bacon, don't you? I do, but I've been off it three days now, so I have no more excuses. But <laughs> hey, there he is. Hey, yeah, this is getting better, getting better and better. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've been summoned. I got a man, another guy threatening me with bodily harm. Uh, this guy's this guy's got an it's an international incident. I've been threatened but bodily harmed by a man in a foreign country. I would like to notify the State Department and all carnivore authorities. Uh it is ridiculous. You know, I've been I threatened. Thought carn- uh, I thought Canadians were nonviolent. Yeah, I've just settled my <laughs> I've just settled all legal actions with Dr. Tony Hampton, and here comes this bum. You know, it's like you know, I don't, I don't understand it, man. Why everybody wants to 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 to, to hit me? I don't understand that. You know, and, and listen, and I, yes, there is definitely a shadow ban on YouTube. I would like to report shadow banning. I was shadow banned by Homestead Howe and Carrie <laughs> Mann Jr. <laughs> I would like to. I would like to be clear. I don't know what I did, you know. I mean, like, listen, you know, but uh, yeah, I've been. Uh oh. Well, Russ, before you, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't me. Was yeah. Man, your face is yeah. looking a lot thinner, man. You're looking good. Uh, well, you know, um, that's where I'm losing all my. I've been concentrating on my facial area. Uh, that's you know where I've been concentrating on trying to lose. <laughs> <So, laughs> I do, you know, I do, I do jaw lifts. Uh, and I cowboy all- workouts. Yes, yes. I chew, lots of food. I chew, you know, more than I should, uh, and such. Yes, and I'm trying to uh, to get my face in shape. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. It's, thank it's you. Looking thank good, you. man. The live streams are looking up this year, man. What, what you need yeah, to do is turn the light on in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got technical difficulties here, and it's probably again, it's Carrie doesn't even want me on the channel. I know he doesn't, but uh, you know, he's he sending you over there. Yeah, he's sending me homestead. He's probably got a voodoo doll in there. He's probably got pins and stuff in there. He's probably poking. 
the, the home <laughs> state Buckeye voodoo doll. But yeah, I'm on my uh, secondary camera right here now. I don't know what's going on with my main camera, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd just pop in and defend myself. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, you know, man. Uh, you were taking shots, man. You got to yeah, right man. swing back, man. I, yeah, it's uh, it's completely ridiculous. I don't understand what's wrong with people. So it's it's funny, Russ. You mentioned Doctor Hampton because I was just editing his footage literally earlier today, and there was a part where he mentions you. I got I got to send that clip to you. I don't know if you remember that, Adam. I said to Doctor Hampton, I was like, you know, we got that recorded, right? <laughs> it's on tape. <laughs> I emailed uh, Doctor Tony. I, I always give him crap after the the Bears Chicago Bears lose a game, and we just put a whooping on them, boys. So I told. Uh, Dr. Tony, I say happy new year, man. <laughs> happy new year. It's my guy though. I love Dr. Tony. Yes. I, I have to say in the new year, uh, the good doctor and I, we've buried the hatchet. I have ceased all of my, uh, my legal actions against him. So we are once again, everything <laughs> is good with us. We're in fact friends and brothers again. So you won't hear me saying anything publicly negative about Dr. Hampton because it is part of our, <laughs> our, our, our settlement agreement that I do not uh, disparage him in any way. So you will not be. be yeah, be don't break your anymore. NDA, man. Yeah, exactly. You won't be hearing any more of that kind of stuff from me. I would just like to uh, make that, make that clear. You, you see that Russ? Jeff's got my back, buddy. Bar Bar anyway, listen, man. This guy again is threatening people. You know, I don't know what kind of Canadian. I yeah, this guy's Canadian threatening people. He's up there over. The, yeah, Canada is America's hat. That's, 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 oh, that is basically. I'm not afraid of anybody from America's hat coming down here and uh, doing any kind of bodily harm to me. So yeah, you can just uh, yeah, blessings on my journey. It's going to be a short journey if you come down here with boxing gloves on. <laughs> no, Jeff. <laughs> he didn't just say that. No. Yo, shout out, shout out to my man. Shout out to my brother Jeff. Yeah, yeah so Jeff, that was awesome. He came on here. Man, this has been a this is fun. It's getting even more fun. We got Russ on here. Yes, I wish, like I said, I got some technical. Hey, what is Mexico? If if that's the hat, what is Mexico? Is that our underpants? No, no that's America's socks. That's no. our, our socks down down there. We got a hat. We got socks. That's you know that's how we roll. So <laughs> there you have it. Now I'm starting inter. I'm starting you know probably international incidents now. So I don't know how that. What does that make Florida? What's that again? Gary. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know. We want Florida. That. Never mind. Sorry. Oh, Florida's wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're part of America. All of America is just one. You know, one big wonderful place. You know what I'm saying. But he, uh, he didn't but, get it, but I'm sure the comments will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I, you know, I do what I can. Listen, I never claim to be anybody's genius. <laughs> I'm just uh, a dumb guy. That I just do dumb things on the internet, and that's uh, you know. Are you on carnivore, Russ? Yes. Yeah. You know, let, let me let me let me go ahead. Oh and get, no. Let me go ahead and get all the haters and all that stuff. Did I just open oh. a can of worms? You opened it. No, no, no. I talk about it on my channel and stuff like that. You know, I don't. Let me see. I'm trying to get my main camera back going here. Oh, yeah. he's blurred. Well, oh, oh. But it doesn't. We need. We need one of those for JT's bacon suit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I come out here, you guys blur me. That's it, man. I'm gonna blur it. I'll have my own voodoo doll to make Put the up. black bar over it. Russ, Russ, I Russ, Russ have you, have you, just talk while I'm doing this while I'm trying to figure out my goofy camera situation here. Testing, but, listen, testing, me, testing. Me, here's the deal, and I look. I don't want to bring the show to a grinding halt or anything like that. But I, I'm just gonna speak my piece here, since everybody wants to threaten me with bodily harm and things like that. Uh, <laughs> I consider myself a carnivore, okay, but I know that the family, you know, gets up in arms, you know, because I don't do it exactly like all of them do it or whatever. If, if I make two pounds of ground beef and you make two pounds of ground beef and you've got, you know, salt and pepper in yours and I put in three teaspoons or three tablespoons of salsa in mine. I got to hear the carnivore police screaming, that's not carnivore, that's not carnivore. That's I keto, that's keto. And I think I got my, uh, I think I got my camera working here. Let's see if this is better. 
that but yeah that's yeah that's there fine. you go and we'll see hopefully it works if not i'll go back to my secondary camera but it, so so that's you know my you know i season with vegetables I don't eat vegetables routinely, and I haven't had vegetables in months. I don't have any vegetables in my house. I do put a little peppers and onions and things in my ground beef, sometimes a little onions and mushrooms with my steaks, Whee! little bits of stuff like that. But I'm telling you, I'm not around here eating asparagus every day or eating salads every day or whatever. So I just, you know, yeah, under arrest. <laughs> I go with the flow. And I don't, you know, I'm not out here. I'm here to make people laugh and smile. I'm not out here to create beefs and all that stuff. But I consider myself carnivore. I think, you know, 80 to 90 percent of everything I eat is animal based. Um, but I know some people will call it ketovore net. And also, you guys know, if you follow me, I know I'm not with all that stuff. To me, that's just a way to divide people. I like a big open tent. I like a big happy family. We're all ketogenic people. Whether you're zero carb or Dr. Barry has taught us, you can go up to 100 carbs if you're young and very active. Anybody 100 carbs or less is ketogenic, wherever you're at. And that's how I roll and who I want to hang out with. I don't want to exclude anybody. I don't want to segment into a group or, or segregate myself. I just don't, don't want to do that. So I don't really call myself that. But again, I know the family. I understand the family. I'm a part of the family. So I don't have carnivore in my name and my channel. I don't come out screaming carnivore, 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 because I know some people are going to be like, well, I heard him last week say he had some salsa. That's not <laughs> carnivore. I heard him last week say he had some onions. I, I just, so that's the honest truth why I don't like call myself that, but I consider myself carnivore, but overall I'm ketogenic. It's like Christians arguing about denominations. If you're a Christian and you love Christ and you read the Bible and you pray, does it matter if you're Baptist or Christian or, I mean, Baptist or Pentecostal or whatever? No, you're a Christian. So that's my philosophy. Uh, thank you and good night. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. No, I like it. I like it too. I just want to say a huge shout out to Russ too. I know we joke a lot, but uh, really love you, Russ. And Appreciate all your support. And Russ has got a great channel. I added Russ's channel to the description below. I'm quick that way. So everyone go subscribe and, and, to Russ. And to clear that too, for all the people who don't know me and who, you know, all that kind of stuff, my channel, listen, my channel has three purposes. My first and foremost the thing I want to do with my channel is make people laugh and smile. That's my number one objective. Make people laugh, make people smile. I don't care what you eat, whatever. My second object, ob objective on my channel is to point people to the scientists and the doctors. If you go to my channel, before you get to my videos, you see Dr. Barry, Dr. Hampton, Dr. Chafee. You got to go past them to get to me because I want to point people to the doctors and the scientists and the folks that can really help you. I'm just a dummy out here doing silly songs and goofy characters on the internet. All right. But I want you to get with people who can really help you with science and with that are professionals. And then the third objective is to share my life, not to tell people what to do, to tell them what I do. And I just hope that some people can gain something from it, something of benefit in how I live and what I do, how I, my mental, what I eat, whatever the case may be. And if you don't like it, let them leave it, you know? And if you want it, if it makes you feel better to leave me a nasty comment, I'm for that too. You know, leave me. I get plenty of those. I get plenty of nasty comments and plenty of people who think I'm not good for the family because I'm kind of lax in my attitude or whatever. I'm, but that's how I am in real life. I'm a live and let live kind of guy. I'm a free spirit. I don't obsess and worry about a lot of things. Adam knows me very well. He'll tell you. I, I just like to laugh, have fun. I don't take anything that seriously. I've been that way since I was, he asked my kindergarten teacher. You know, <laughs> it's just say the same thing. So I approach this keto life the same way I approach all of life with happiness, with joy, with silliness and stupidity. <laughs> Love it. Stupidity. Laughter is the best medicine, said Jill Stein. Couldn't agree more. Hey, listen, call me Dr. Dr. Buckeye, brother, because <laughs> I got grade A, you know, top and I and I, I empty the prescription uh, pad as often as I can. So. That's, you know, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Oh, there was one other comment here I wanted to add. 
Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there's too much love for Russ here. Yeah, it's going nuts. Oh, listen, just because you're a natural born oh, hater, you. Lacey, doesn't mean this. Yeah, this guy's is. And listen, this guy is 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 you know scouring the planet to find people that come on our show and hate on me, and he can't find anybody. I do. I do. Everybody I, I interview, I recruit. Yeah, <laughs> I know he does because he's a natural born hater. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. He drinks haterade. He drinks hate shakes. You know, he's got hate. Be I'm serious. The guy's just filled with hate and rage, and he just wants. <laughs> <laughs> and he tries his best, but he can't find people because I know it's hard for you to believe, Lacey, but people love me. What's not to love? Oh, by the way, shout out to all my low carb ladies, all my keto cuties <laughs> all around the world. Yes, come holla at your boy, Big Daddy. Well, holla at you. Hey, we go half on a boiled egg, okay? I, just, I, used to take you, I used to take him out for ice cream and can't do that no more. We'll go half on a boiled egg and uh, stick a butter. And uh, yes, we'll have a great time. <laughs> and awesome. the keto cowboys, shout out to the keto cowboys. Stay on that thing, baby. Eight That's seconds. Right. Get that buckle. Don't let them buck you off, baby. I love you too, Russ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. GTH, Adam. I'll give you one guess what that stands for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Thank you for all the love in the chat. You guys are the best. I love the family. Um, you know, there's lots of places you can go to get information and science and all that stuff. Oh, there's tons of great sites, great channels that give you serious stuff and big words and, you know, autophagy <laughs> and keto. <laughs> no, listen, we need them. We need those channels and we need those people. There's people that are strict out there. There's people you can hire to come and knock a, a, knock a tomato out of your hands, you know, if you, if you get tempted. We need them too. Some people need that. Uh, I'm not that guy, you know, um, and it takes all, but I love those channels. I love the strict channels. Um, I'm for the guy that's struggling. You know, I, if we're, if I'm sitting around here with a bunch of zero carb carnivores, you know, there's not much I can do for you to help you. I mean, I can crack some jokes or we can be silly. We're boys. We love each other. We're brothers, but I want to talk to that guy that still got the donut in his hand. I want to talk to that guy who's eating 500 or 1,000 carbs a day like I was and has no idea. I want to talk to the people who think, when I say ketones, they think I'm talking about playing the piano. You know? <laughs> I want to talk to those people. That Those are the people I want to bring in. You know? I don't want to, you know, that's, that's what evangelism is, and that's what I consider myself an evangelist. I just had an hour and a half long conversation today with a guy who called me, saw the keto cookout, had no idea anything about any of this vegetarian kind of uh, vegetarian ish had a thousand questions. I was able to help him and, and he's going to try, you know, to, to get on the keto road and, and think about it. And that's, that's evangelism, man. That's what we're out here trying to do. For sure. And like we said, laughter is the best medicine. That is the truth. I know our, our good friend, Jeff DeProspers, we were just talking about you. You absolutely cracked him up so many times, Russ. Him and his boys just absolutely love watching you. Puts a big smile on his face. And it's, it's so important, too, to keep it, keep him, keep his mood good and happy and smiling and laughing for sure. It's really important. Well, like I said, that's the best compliment anybody can ever give me, man. You know, if you want to learn something, you know, find another channel. If you want to yeah. learn absolutely nothing, but come over and just laugh and have fun at Homesick Buckeye on YouTube, you know. And listen, I put a little bit in there. I put little bits of information in there as well. I mean, I do want you to get the message. But to me, if I can just get you interested, I've got a lot of people that watch my channel who don't do keto at all. They just like the characters. They like the goofy songs and the silliness. They just they think I'm interesting or whatever. And here's the thing. One day, they're going to have a problem. And those goofy songs and the silly voice and all the characters, they're going to think about that. And they're going to drop that biscuit and pick up that brisket. They're going to trade their jelly and jam for bacon and ham. <laughs> and they're la you're laughing at me, but I might be saving your life. Love it. Damn you know? Man. I mean, that's just, that's, that's what I bring to the potluck. Ridiculous. Hey, Marnie, I agree with you. Uh, Russ is dropping it from Dr. Hampton. I don't know if he's quite taking it up with me yet, but every great story has to have a Darth Vader. <laughs> uh, I, somehow that's racist. <laughs> <laughs>
I, don't know how. I, don't I didn't know. say Dark Vader. I said yeah. Dark Vader. Yeah. yeah. Somehow I I I got a couple. Hold on. Let me call Reverend Sharpton here. Let me get my phone. Oh, no. He ain't gonna help you. <laughs> I got a minister of judges. Yeah, that's racist. That's racist. Yeah. Yeah. I just. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, yeah. this has been great. Huge shout out! Thank you guys all for joining. Shout, was- shout out to shout out to Brett. Man. Yeah, shout out to Brett. listen, Brett is on a hunger strike. I, 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 oops, I mean he's he's fasting. <laughs> listen, he's fasting. In other countries, they call it a hunger strike, but he's fasting. Shout out to him. Go get him, brother. I will never do that with you, but I am rooting for you. Go get him. Fast on, man. I love that. I love that, man. Yeah, go, Brett. I was getting worried about you. I'm glad you came on here and commented because I'm like, well, you know, I was going to check on him after this. Say, what the heck's yeah, going on? Get a, yeah, get a wellness check out to my man out in Indiana. <laughs> make sure my man's okay out there. Yeah, I haven't got to that point in my in my, in my my path where I can just intentionally starve myself. I got to eat. <laughs> if, listen, I can't be hungry. If I'm hungry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Fast. It, it has a term. <laughs> starving yourself has a term. Okay, it's called fasting. I'm slowing. He's fasting. Okay, this <laughs> is the opposite of fasting. But I love that, man. If that's what you think is, is best for you, man, I, I'm so happy for you. Proud of you. Keep on keeping on. I gotta eat every day. That's when I get in trouble. Hey, Rick eats every day, and he's he's pretty skinny. Yeah. So you know, it's just. Listen. Maybe one day, you know, I'll get into that. But right now, yeah, if I don't, yeah, if I get hungry and there's no, not anything to eat here, that's how I end up face down in the mashed potatoes and gravy over Golden Corral. Yeah, that's, that's how that works. So yeah, I got to eat, but, uh, but I love it. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I think we can wrap it up there. I don't have any other questions, but huge shout out. Thank you, Russ, for joining. Yeah. Well, so listen, fun. I kinda, you know, listen, I kind of, you know, uh, had to, I wasn't invited. I kind of crashed, you know, I, once upon a time, you know, I used to get invited to the channel and come and hang out with us, Russ. So I don't know what I did or what I said to get the shadow ban, but I'm glad it's, I guess it's lifted at least. For- it's it's lifted. <laughs> you can ask Adam. I texted him. I was like, please send Russ an invite if you can. Uh, you can't, I, listen, you I, can't trust that, that guy with anything good for me. He ain't going to have me come on here. Ain't no you're way. Right. You're right. <laughs> It's like you can't, you can't. First of all, you know where I'm at. You got my number. You got my email. Why in the world would you send the message Pony Express through that pony? <laughs> well, no thanks to Russ for stopping out tonight. Right. <laughs> Seriously though, Russ, you always you always have an open invite. I didn't even know we were gonna do this like an hour ago. I was like, oh, let's just do a live stream. This was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, he texted me when I was at the store. I was I was at the grocery store buying ribeyes, and he's like, "Yo, let's go." I'm like, "All right." Yeah. Russ, were you watching earlier? We ha- we got pictures of yeah. Bill from his modeling years up on the screen. I, I- I, ca- I, ca- I came on uh, around the time Jeff came on, or maybe a little bit before, and I was hey, just hit him with it one last time. Let's end the the video with Bill's photo. I, yeah, the and, better and, way and, to end and, it. And, and JT ain't gonna escape either. I know you secretly hate me too, JT. I know you do. I know deep down <laughs> in that dark that dark carnivore heart of yours, you got some hate for me. <laughs> No, Nothing, so, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't hate nobody, not even I the been, vegans. Listen, I, haven't been on, I haven't been on your channel either in a while, man. So I don't know what kind of goofy. I haven't been on my channel in a while. I haven't been making All much right. videos. I gotta, gotta let you guys know every once in a while. I gotta give you that smoke, man. And I'm not feeling the love. I gotta let you know. I stopped smoking, Russ. So <laughs> there, there we go. That looks. Is that what? Is that JT? That's no, Bill Nott. That's, that's Bill Nott from his modeling days. I wish I oh. looked like that at some point in my life. I never did. I never okay. had the eyes, man. The, and even the way he lays the eyebrows with the eyes, man, there's no chance for the ladies. You should see the comments, Russ. The comments were blown up. Listen, I was, yeah, no chance for the ladies and a couple of guys, too, probably might, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably a couple of dudes you somewhere that might be out. Yeah, you. we want a little taste of that wine. Yeah, that's just give me just a sip of that juice. <laughs> hey, awesome. let's just let's just start with carnivore and we'll go from there, man. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think we'll I think, I, I think we'll end it on that note. Hey, listen, you've heard of hot sauce. Now you see not sauce. That's <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my brother Bill. Shout out to my best. Listen, I, if I'd have known him back in the day, boy, we'd have went coast to coast, tearing Golden Corral up. We'd have put him out of business, man. 
<laughs> we'd have let them, we'd have set them, we'd have shut them down. They would have seen us. Listen, they would have seen us coming. They'd have locked the doors. I'm just telling you. That's, but that's in the old days, man. That's that's in the old days. So uh, nice. Carnivore hippos in bikinis is going to spend the rest of the day binging uh, Russ's back catalog. Uh, so I appreciate the more hippos in bikinis. I just, listen, I hope, <laughs> listen, you might want to just take it slow. There's a lot of stupidity in there. Okay, I don't want anybody to overdose on stupidity. Now it is no, there are no carbs in stupidity. I can tell you, there's, you know, you don't have to worry about it raising your blood sugar or your insulin. But yeah, you got to take me in little doses. A little bit of me goes a long way. That's why they only have me on the channels once a decade. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so everyone go check out Homesick Buckeye, Adam at Carnivore Today, JT Poco Moonshine Family, and Bill Knott. He did his video earlier today. It's awesome. Yeah. He had some exciting updates for sure. Gary, that Bill, out. Bill. Yeah. The man, the myth. Appreciate it. Links in oh, the description. Okay. I just added Russ's link too, so you guys better go subscribe, check it out. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Adam, Russ, JT, and everyone. I got to go hop in my bacon suit and, uh, you know, wear that to bed. So I'll see you guys oh, later. God. Yeah, we can end it on the bacon suit. Yeah. All right, brother. Awesome. Thanks, guys. See ya. See you guys. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.